All right, so we're still in the, we're still, we're still in the midst of talking about priorities. Um, the, the assignment at the beginning of lunch was to work out this FICO thing. Did we do that? Or did we even talk about well, that? I don't think we talked about it. Right. So, no, I think, I think, so I think that's a good point. The computationally, you have to revisit your prioritization number. You can't calculate a number once that's immutable as long as that object is still in your queue. But are you just saying did, did anybody want a copy that didn't get on my list, my order list here? Thank you. Thank you. So, Victor, I mean, surely, I mean, you, there's an update. If you, if all you had to do is recompute the number when more data arrived on the stream and update, you're saying that's not good. That's a, or it's also not an implementation. You have to shuffle every stream. Yeah, I'm trying to understand what is this number you're talking about. Are we talking about this or FICO? Yeah, we're, FICO. we're talking about how well, five this. Is, yeah, he's talking about the complexity in implementing five. Yeah, but like if is, sixty arrived just now at the tail, I have to like reshuffle the order of every stream to put sixty way at the front. Yeah, but, 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 but you wouldn't actually. You would have different queues for every track here. Yeah. Uh, we don't, that's not uh, quick layer. Not really order, no. This is not quick. No, we're, we're above quick. We're so so very very important. basically what you're doing there is that at some point when you create the streams, you're going to set a priority to the stream, and the quick strikes internally will have some data structure to put them in the right order and fit data in the right order. Okay? So if you change that, then you are going to propagate the change to the data structure in the stack. Uh, Depending on the complexity of the data structure, that may be a pretty big deal. It's and you may also layer. need, if, if your quick stack buffers data, that priority change shouldn't take effect until after. I mean, there's a point. In, like, if I, oh, you can shoot to how many fingers of your foot you want. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand the case. Of, <laughs> I, 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 maybe I'm being loose. Slow. I'm, I'm not arguing for FIFO, but I'm not understanding the case where a new packet comes in and it causes you to change to change something. You have to run the algorithm again because FIFO is based on the first track in the queue. So if you receive blue, then now blue is higher priority than green, even though the red right last. No, and the other way around. That, that, that's, no, that's a, that won't change anything yeah. because you have said blue belongs to a track. So the way we will describe it is because 58 is number yeah. one in the head, that means blue is highest priority. That's why 57 gets sent first. Okay. So if yeah, you receive yeah. 56 all of a sudden, it jumps the queue. It reshuffles everything. Just because 58 was received first. Well, it would be at the tail. It would sit here. 56 would sit here. You can't change what's already well, arrived. But it would be sent well, first. You, can ask, well, you, 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 you can ask the stack to do that. that, that, that but if, you, if, if you don't say anything, the stack is going to just do one webinar. Hang on, hang on. OK, so sorry. Please, please, please. Oh, OK, give me one, one thing that's worth clarifying here. FIFO means that they can arrive first. No, it's not the one that's numbered low. Can I explain? Okay, hold on. Let me get, let me get the hands. Come on, please tell me about what's number right. Oh, OK, there's everyone big. What do you want? What do you want to know? So, um, tell me if Lucas or somebody on the. Okay, on the, I will. Who's first? Okay, uh, you've got Suhas, Ian, John, I think Colin. I didn't have number. Can I can I answer Jonah's question? Because I think there's a source of confusion. Okay, yeah. This line here is strict FIFO. What came in first goes out first. It's it's the inverse. I don't think that's a surprise. We're calling what we're calling FIFO now, and we shouldn't be, is our method of of solving the equality problem. And so let's not call it FIFO. So I think it it's just FIFO. our our it's a tiebreaker. It's and the, we chose yeah. time very arbitrarily. It wasn't right. it wasn't a strong argument for that. We could easily switch to a non-time based time break tie break. I, I agree. We should the, the solution we want is the solution we should talk about is this last one here, which is is there a better way if both publisher and end client have said there's equality amongst these three of how, how to drain this. So I know what is simple to do. What is simple to do is that if I have five streams that have the same priority, I'm going to round robin between them. Sure. And, so, and right. round robin will effectively, I mean, if, if someone doesn't have data, they will skip, and the one that has data will be served, and that's it. That's how the five libraries work, yeah. So it's, it's not it's not exactly there's two options in quick library. Yeah. So there's, 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 there's a key yeah. two 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 yeah. there are two options, yeah. but if you want to do FIFO between streams in quick you know, you should yeah. you should take your last two. Yeah. So oh. just, just want to uh, clarify the question we were jumping ask. 
I just, I, I do, I, do, I think this is really wrong. I 100% assumed none of that data was yet queued in the quick stack. I do not understand why we're discussing quick. Like things have gone really badly if that's queued in the quick stack. In my case, uh, I queue everything immediately as soon as I receive. And so do we. Yeah, you, you can kind of have what's what's again? You have a priority API and for the quick application that allows the application. If I, I'm sorry, I'm not hearing. Okay, the, I think it, it, it's okay. The way the way several high scale, high usage quick stacks work is that you can queue data, like because you prioritize streams, not objects. Yes. You can write, you can have a buffer inside quick. You write yeah. the data into quick and you set the priority on the stream. What do you mean by no? Well, I'm just telling you how it works. And I think this is what Victor and Luke are both saying. And it's how our stack works too. When quick is ready to send a packet, it looks at its list of buffered streams and selects from that sure. database. It has, access, it has access to buffered streams. Yes, yeah. it has yeah. access yeah. to buffered streams. Okay, that's okay. Okay. Through hash. Um, the, the way I was uh, thinking this is that like it finally ma it finally well, maps down to what's your stream mapping, right? Oh. If if <laughs> if it's stream per group, for example, <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's what you're doing at the quick from the mock to quick is the mapping, right? If you have one or three, that's not matter. But what is basically trying to say here here is that like if you have a stream per group, within a stream you cannot change the priorities until what you're sending is done. If it's a stream per group, everything. From here, what are you is going to one stream? You're not changing midstream or mid transmission mm. priorities or anything. Okay. So this is not this is basically saying a selection algorithm to say, take this blue and wherever the blue was sent, if you already know, send on that one. If you don't have anything like that, based on stream mapping or this first time you've seen the blue thing, then you create a stream based on the mapping, attach that stream to everything that comes in the blue after that point in time until a group changes. So this this algorithm, all I thought, uh, Collins and Will's algorithm was trying to do is uh, pick the next thing to send, not how to send. Okay, I think that helped. If, if those boxes are all streams, does that help you, Victor, and you, Luke? No, not really. Really? Because I, mean, I, I think it does. They are, but like, you still can't implement that. Like, I, I can't implement I, I, that. I, I'm not sure. Explain it to me. Like, why is this not implementable? Because, like, especially like with Web Transport or whatever, you write to a stream and then you set the stream priority, and the quick library will pick the next packet. That's fine. Based that on the high priority streams. Those are all streams. That works here. Yeah, but it means that every time you receive data, you have to reshuffle. You have to look no, no, over no, every no. active stream. You've got a different no. stream. You've got to, this has got to blue stream. This has got to green stream. That's another red stream. You create a priority queue in application, so you can then tell no, the quick library what to do. It's not priority queue. Pick, yeah. Picking the and picking the blue box based on the priority that you want to assign it to. That's it. It's not going to be a queue, priority queue. If, if you have something, you can work through, through that. But this works with exactly what your implementation is. Like all of the things work. It's I, I don't see what comes. Come if a new stream comes, it's a new group. It's, it's a new stream. Yeah. It's just that it will be another box. You'll set the priority on that box. It might be higher or lower than what's like, here. When this came first, you created a new stream and set priority three for the stream water. Let's take right and 58 comes, you're sending that 58 to the exact same thing, stream. You're not reshuffling. This is a total new stream. All these things, like if you stream per group, let's say, right? Let's say stream per track, simple example, right? Let's say all these groups are within the same track. They're all going on the same stream at the bottom. If the stream per group, this is a new stream, enter group because the, the centers decided to use stream per group. Yeah. They'll create a new stream and send it out. And every object that comes within the group, Match to the stream. I don't think so. This changes in any of the quick stacks so the way implemented. It's a picking or selection algorithm. An object for this group has this mapping, send it over there. Which one? I which? think it does change, but it's hard to explain. Yeah. Then we should take some time. It's based on time, like what you have in the buffer. Ian, um, I have a question about FIFO to go back to that. I, I, I'm fine with the rest of this. This is all fine. Um, I, don't understand what the use case is for FIFO, and I do. I'm concerned it's like very difficult to implement. I thought on the original first slide, all we said was like, if you didn't set a forwarding preference or like a, if you didn't set ascending or descending, it just defaulted to like ascending. And then it, we're that's done. different. That's yeah, the object. This use case was where neither the client nor the publisher expressed a preference. What's changed since I wrote this? is today we said that the publisher must always express a preference and can't not express a preference. Um, so that's, it's not actually valid here. We wouldn't okay. get into a case where there's both so, line and publisher not expressed a preference. So, so, just, so, just, so why, don't you just, why, why don't you just edit that slide to either strike it out or, or make a big cross on top of it or something? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, that's still the same and then, as... And, and the, 
but there, and then this one, I like Christian's suggestion that we round robin them instead of the algorithm we have here. Yeah. Should we'll be leave it undefined. Yeah. Incremental or parallel. yeah, so what would okay, happen is let me, let me go back to the original text. It was there's two different cases that is read. Okay. So rank by so if we rank if we're using subscriber priorities and they're equal, that was one of the places that we set FIFO. And I think since then have we changed that if the subscriber priorities are equal, that was the whole discussion of then fall back to the publisher priorities. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So we want to change that because we didn't change that on the previous slide. We can. We can change that. Good. So I think and that would get rid of one of the FIFOs. Yes. Okay. I think that's the right way. And then if if no preference ranked by original published propriety, and if those are equal, FIFO on arrival time. And um, I think that what we're saying is if the published priorities are equal, then you can do whatever you want in the proxy. Like go exactly. go in the oh, no, brown robin. You should round robin. We should just say it's one of you. Round robin is more than that. Yes, I'm fine. So exactly. It's one of those things where you use the extended RFC blah 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 keywords. You should do this, but we would know you won't. I don't. Yes, that's the one. Are you done? I think so. So, so the answer is. Oh, it's consensus here. Like, yeah, yeah so we do this. Get your text out. Just, I mean, there's a few guys. I mean, when you, okay. but it's always either ascending or descending. Yes. Do we have? Okay, that's what I want to know. Okay, that's fine. I think. I think we do. John, do you want more? I want to add something. Okay, John, your turn. Okay, so. Uh, I think that we can, we, we should, again, we should specify and stipulate what we need to. In this case, it seems like we don't have a very strong reason for whether it should be FIFO or, or uh, uh, round robin. And implementations, therefore, should do the simplest thing until we know better. So my argument here would be leave it open to implementations to schedule streams the way they already do when there is no priority expressed across the streams. And the implementation can do what it does, unless somebody has a strong reason that it should be a certain way. Because in this case, I imagined earlier that FIFO was because the timing of generation of the object was useful, a useful signal, and therefore FIFO was useful. If it's not, then I would go with whatever the implementation is doing. Otherwise, there's a very nice way for the sub publisher to say that this is higher priority than the other, and clearly the publisher is not using it. So, Victor, go. Yeah, I mean, we we had a lot of fun to even defining by four rounds rather than we were specifying it. Yeah. I wouldn't do it, is what I'm saying. That was yeah. very unfun to specify. It's not going to be, yeah. You yes. don't want to go. So I it's think I yes. leave that undefined because, like, fundamentally, like, if you really care, you, you said something that's very yes. strange. Yes. Victor and John are both saying leave undefined? Yes. 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 Luke? Yeah, and, and quick right now is undefined what you do when streams have equal priority because they all have equal priority by definition. Just use the default quick behavior, okay. which is whatever. <laughs> yeah, it is, you know, so, it is exactly that. Sorry. Yeah. I, I think that I, I that way. If neither of the subscriber got the publisher sure, will be finding something, it is undefined. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. Yeah. Should we ask a question for Skype for yes. so that I can have put in a decision? Okay, so here's, here's what I'm proposing in the decision. The people says is when the subscriber priorities are um, when, okay when the subscriber priorities are equal, we use the publisher priorities. Okay, when the publisher priorities are equal, then you're basically saying I don't. You're saying you're leaving it up to the the relay, and it's undefined what happens next on the relay on this. Though we imagine many of them will do something sort of vaguely like round robin. Right. Does anyone think that's bad? No, just a clarifying question. So if they're all equal, it's clear. What if one of them is set with a priority and the remainder are equal? You still oh, then between need them. to prioritize the one track that has an explicit priority and then it's whatever you feel like doing for it. 100%. There's okay. no one between things that are that were that are. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And obviously, if like something yeah. lower priority would be lower than all of these yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And can yeah. someone convert the phenomenon in English for me? <laughs> it's easy to write it. When the final priority is equal, there we decide the final priority field is. No, when, when trying to decide between tracks that are equal, either because the subscriber declared them to be equal or because you broke 
the tie and the, the publisher declared them to be equal, okay. then you it's undefined, it's application level defined as descent between those, but you must still respect an explicit priority. What is the implicit priority coming from? Implicit either from the publisher or the subscriber. Okay, so okay. right subscriber. Um, so in other words, we can't really show it in this diagram because we don't know what the, how the application would choose to order these. Equal, and it's going to change based on how many streams there are back as well. Okay, so I'm, I'm editing this here to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm saying rank by subscriber priority if equal or no rep or no preference. So we right? don't have no preference anymore, right? It's we, we said that the publisher must express a preference. Okay, okay. but this is subscriber. If they also must express one. If it's equal, then it's no preference. Right, they suppress equal for now. Okay, okay, keep going. going. I think this is correct. Yeah. If equal, um, what are this correct? It might be redundant. Right, by original probable sure. And if equal, then, then, then question mark. Then delete FIFO and this stuff. Implementation defined. Then uh, it's only implementation defined between the tracks which are declared, sure. objects belonging to tracks which are. Um, so the, second, the second sub bullet is gone. I don't think you mean. I don't mean that. Yeah, let me just that. Yeah, yeah, let me keep going though. That's, that's redundant or wrong or old or something. Yeah, this was a different way of trying to phrase it yeah. than we tried at one point in time. So just like that. Oops. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay. And then. There's no, okay, so we've removed FIFO from anywhere in our stuff. Now, I wrote this, but uh, maybe round robin or something here. Like, I no, was. Maybe the, round robin is permissive. The, the meaning that you're saying it's allowed to be round robin, but yeah. you already said it's defined by the relay. So, the, the, the next yeah, bullet is the next is redundant. Bullet is redundant. Yeah. yeah. Just eliminate the next bullet. Right. So, no, I, I'm going to delete this round robin stuff here for a I it's, think it's, it's defined by the relay implementation. Yeah. The next bullet is redundant. And actually, kind of wrong. Yeah, well, no, it's 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 bad English, but it should say from the ranked set of track. In other words, as a result of the prior operation, track. choose the highest group ID. <coughs> There's no groups in that. This is in, I think that's here. That's not here. Right? This, this this will you forced me to put this here, so I'm going to blame you on this one. So you were saying that the <laughs> upper thing picks up a set of tracks, and then this is how you pick the track. And maybe this is just redundant, and we should just go. We should be up here. Select the track. So select select the track. track, yeah. Track. If, if, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Then you can remove the rank because yes. Yeah. Otherwise, this was this. The first one was like establishing yeah. the set that yeah. you're going to choose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And minor defined by the relay. It's by the publisher. The, like JavaScript will have to do this, or the like the client will have to do this. Defined by the, no, no. It's the publisher's quick library. Just, the, Besides. Oh, but right by the it could be a relay publisher. It could be a relay. It could be any client. It's the publisher's quick library that decides how to set the streams. You don't define it. It's implementation based, not defined. It is. Yeah, you don't define it. Yeah, yeah. You don't define it because you just give it the quick layer and the quick layer defines it. does something. Yeah, like web transport will do whatever it wants. Whatever. If I'm defined by mock is fine. Yes. Uh, scope of mock. Uh, no, this is still no. confusing though. Okay. Because now you can't, you don't, if you select a track and it's undefined, <laughs> then it says within the selected track, that doesn't make sense. There's no one defined anymore. Anyway. Uh, implementation defined is still fine. Okay. Yeah. No, the algorithm as we've written it says we select a track. Yeah. But so we're not selecting a track. Good point. Mm. Quick, quick select streams, technically. This might be another way of fixing it. You select the stream based on the track. That's, that's a, it's, it's an edit, editorial thing. It's still not clear. The, the question here is, is this enough advice that Ian's going to be able to write something that we're, we all mean the same thing and we don't go later, oh, I thought you meant something totally different than that. That's 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 where we need to get to. I think today. that's good. Yeah, it's a I mean, I don't see any ambiguity that, I mean, I, think, I like we just paired out a whole lot of complexity that this felt like we didn't need. <laughs> this looks <laughs> this looks sensible to me, unless I'm messing something. Yeah, I agree. Does anyone think this text is bad? I think the the one gap is implementation decides doesn't necessarily resolve to a track, right? 
Yeah. Implementation is picking the track here. That's uh, what I thought. Implementation. Picks the track. Quick, quick, quick. Libraries choose based on streams. They don't choose based on Stripe tracks. So it's going to be it's it's still undefined. It's undefined how the track is picked. That's the main thing. You're not defining a recipe for it. The algorithm mm -hmm. is pick a track, pick a group. And then pick an object. Pick right? track, if we're saying the, the first result of that operation is pick a track, we're not picking a track. We are make, picking a track based on what implementation decides. So the implementation. Little bit track, track, out, of, out of this set of equal, out of the this equal. track is fixed. Pick two or not, not. But I, I know this is not really quite right in it's how the algorithm is going to do, but I, I think when Ian translates this into a specific PR, we're going to end up with something a little, a little more detailed here on how this. Yeah. 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 I think this is the only thing that's open, but let's keep it open for now I, and see if one experiences. I think all. what the reality is is you you're going to assign a a um, priority ID to something you feed to the quick layer, mm -hmm. or you're going to leave it undefined. That's really what we're, agree. we're choosing for. Yeah, I think yeah. I think probably yeah. You're going to have some our, number. In the the algorithm there. should be how do I derive this number? And that last number. step, it's, if it's equal, is I don't derive a number. Yeah. Realistically, you probably don't have control over it in a lot of circumstances, yeah. like web transport. Like, I mean, you're you set the numbers to the same priority, and then you're like, I wonder what's going to happen next. I think you do a priority group <laughs> for track. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's right. The, like, that's why priority groups are added to web transport. Right? No, I, I mean, it no, because you said no, they are all equal. Okay, yeah, so well, that's when they're equal here. You that, that was I'm okay. stop something. <laughs> okay, okay. I, mean, I, I want to this at this room. And very much like to see. Some idea of the signaling or that because here we could dig even further, but that hole is pretty deep already. Hey, we got signal slides coming up. Yeah. I think that's good. Sure. Um, I would like to just flag for people to think about in their mind on this for implementing when you're doing stream, when you're doing stream per track, so you only got one stream for the whole track, and somebody sends the subscriber priority halfway through the track. That's supposed to work. Just just flag in that for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it means, yeah think, no, that, 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 that just, just means that your, your, your quick stack has to have an API that says that stream that was at 37 is now 285. Yeah. Yep. yeah, something like that. And they all right. They'll do it or not. I mean, like, but they've got it. Like, so, look, <laughs> for, for the scribe, should I say everyone is okay with this, uh, the solution of the proposal? Okay. No, we're okay with Ian writing it down and yeah. there's been oh, argue yeah. more in the PR. Okay. So I would like to move on to expiration if that is a reasonable topic for people. Okay. And this is probably our worst slide in this whole thing. <laughs> but let me just step through, I think, something where we might be able to get a consensus on. Okay. Um, first of all, no absolutes. They're all we're only relatives. Okay. Um, and, uh, possibly, and they're, 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 they, the publisher has to set one, possibly the subscriber can override them in the same, at, at the sort of last relay hop in the same way we can, we can dig into this for in a minute. What do you think? Uh, has to set. Okay. Ah, so so the publisher. Because there are applications where you don't really need to have else. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. It can be an optional thing. Like, like, like regular data pops up. Yeah, I just have it. We option. shouldn't force it because then people are going to set max yeah. into something to avoid it. So yeah. expiration. Yeah. Because you have some wacky, people yeah. some wacky value. We'll definitely get lots of But if defined, it should be an undefined state or a no yeah. preference. Yeah. They said no expiration. Oh. Infinite. No. Which not is, infinite because that's some you need a, which is the yeah, you're, but yeah we don't want to we just need, need a way to code a value that says this yeah. is not a ton how to spell this on the wire Ian will figure out that will not be the part we don't agree on but the fact that you need to be able to have a I didn't set it for the yeah. semantics okay subscriber going right for track we'll talk about the minutes um the the relay in this case takes the min of the publisher and subscriber Okay, and we can argue about that in a minute, but let's be on clarifying. Does that make sense? And I'll get through the rest of the points too. Um, and uh, the part of the reason why we, we, we talked about doing that is it, it's clear there might be some use cases where the subscribers like, hey, you know, this, you know, this is set up for, you know, I don't need as much, so I want a shorter timeline. Um, 
And the min sort of deals with some of the problems of if it's being billed to the publisher that they're sort of setting the controlling of this. And the publisher would have to know that whatever value they chose was big enough that it was like was whatever any of their subscribers were going to want. Okay, so there are some limitations to this type of thing, but it seems like it solves more of them. It seems it was the most flexible one we can come up with. It seems or I can come up with seems solid. So we'll talk more about that's right or something in a second, but that's what it is. So um, the the relays don't propagate it up. This again would probably be in the same sort of should thing. I agree with the proxies would want to propagate it up, but sort of. Yeah. You know, rinse, wash, repeat, see previous conversation. Um, you should be clear that relay is not required to propagate the subscriber expiration times upstream. It looks like we'll have one section that talks about all the aggregation, like how you aggregate multiple yeah. subscriptions. Just there's like whatever you put everything in there. Yeah. You do. Exactly. The same and we haven't even got the law. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. I was going to ask, okay. okay, this is the same as delivery timeout, right? Like X pre, like pretty much. much. Yes. I mean, but, but is there a separate concept called delivery timeout? No, I think no. those are the same thing. Okay. okay. What does what does expiration apply to? What's the unit? And we can back shut over the name. Oh, I just want to make sure. I do want to make sure it's the same thing. We're going to get to. Okay. No, no. Screen side of the yeah. Oh, the, the, last, the last. The last. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. The last one is basically makes it screens. Yeah. It's like it's bouvet, yeah. The yeah, obvious yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay. So, okay. so there's there's um uh, so the, the, the next the next one on here timer is when the timer starts. Right? And I'm putting in a strong argument for the timer should start when you when you start receiving the first bit of the object because anything else just jumps into the if you don't start it then you end up into this sort of DDoS things where somebody can send you a byte and you don't start your timer and you keep the byte forever. And that can happen due to deliberate attacks or un or attacks that are just accidental or something crashed. Um, and I think that most of the cases, you know, for a real-time system, you have a fairly reasonable expectations of when things are going to arrive. And like, you know, if you, if you know you're, you can easily add, you know, if you think the difference between your start and your end is going to have a max of five seconds, you can add five seconds to your delay, right? That's sort of the argument I'm making on this one. Good question. Um, so this is a timer for each object within a stream, a separate timer. And when does the timer stop? If it's like 300 milliseconds is your expiration, you need to eventually stop the timer because you don't want to reset the entire stream. You do. I might have a twist. Based on acts or I might have a question on when it's being delivered. I have a question that actually clarifies that point a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, first, I don't, I don't see a timer. I see timestamps. Uh, just yeah, to be clear, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because you just need to set a time server as to when you received it, because the action of what you do in expire actually matters. So, that was the question I had: is do you what does expiration mean in this case? And second. I don't understand how a subscriber can overwrite this for published content because that seems like the same DOS is possible from a subscriber. You just have if you can override the expiry time it's by the the man. The man. you can't make it longer than the publisher, which you can make it shorter. Okay, that's fine. It's still weird the subscriber can do but that. What about the case? case? I don't understand the use case here. But yes, yeah, so, so the question is once, once yeah. it expired, what's the thing? You basically do not deliver it any further. Is that, that's the idea, right? right? Let's let's not. I'll get to reset stream in a second here. The main thing is it goes back to this slide. Is you know you ignore objects oh, that are expired, expired, like you don't deliver. Up. So but you, you do not send deliver. them. Basically, that's what you, you don't. Send you don't send. Okay, that's right. it's a TDL. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's a TDL. Okay, okay very good. Yeah. Yeah. Victor, uh, just uh, can I just can to hit my last point yes. on this and with any clarifying questions well, and good discussion? If Victor, all objects now, in the group will have the same expiry timeout. Yeah, that seems to simplify a bunch of things and uh, you know, to do it. So I logically think about these things. Having, I mean, you might have objects expiring shorter than the length of a group. OK, you can have a 30 second gop and a 500 millisecond timeout. And it means that if you miss, if you're ever in transmitting that group more than get more than 500 milliseconds again behind, you're not going to get all your stuff. I avoided getting into optimizations around resetting streams in that case. stuff. So we might add that later, yeah. but I think that we can do this all. I think we could have a good PR that didn't touch resetting streams and still made sense. So uh, now I don't know that. Uh, Victor, 
so I think from my conversation with Colin yesterday, I think there are two kinds of application and how they approach exploration. So assume that I have a reasonably small buffer, but I have a very large gob. And I'm in the middle, like the gob is 30 seconds and I'm 15 seconds in into that gob. And uh, I uh, basically stalled for enough that like I passed the time up with them. So there are two strategies, uh, sorry, not time up window, but specifically it's the size of buffers that I have. So there are two possible strategies you can recover from this. Uh, one of which is a uh, view still try to go back to where you were in that group and try to download those P frames and you don't necessarily have, you can't even display them because they're in the past, but you still need them because you need to decode them to catch up to the latest data. And as long like that thing is in cache, that's fine. Uh, the other behavior is uh, you just on. You just, as soon as it's out of window, you just lose subscription to that track, basically. Or like you have to wait for the next group, or you have to switch yeah. from that track to like some other track with more sequence. And I think to me, like both applications make sense. And I, I feel like it depends on what you're really trying to do. I lost your proposal, though. What would you do? Uh, I, I think we should support both, like a flag. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say about the same thing as Victor. There are two operations that matter to our exploration. One is, when can you ask for a range? I mean, if someone asks you for a, a range, and I would start at group five, object nine. Well, you can only and so yet show sure, group five version nine if you have not expired this object nine first. So that's clear, that's one effect of uh, expiration. And the other effect is I want to start at the beginning of the, the most recent group. And well, if you have expired any of group five, you have to start at the next six. Does, does expiration have anything to do with retransmissions? Mm, I don't know. It shouldn't not be. I mean, I mean, it should. That's part it of the. It's part of the prioritization, not. right? So, cash should not. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I mean, no, okay. no, no, Martin, I, it really should not, because right. if we assume that the the group is sent as a stream, yep, you really want I mean, the definition that we have. You have to. Yeah, you, have to that you, you have to upgrade everything. On yeah. the no, I, I, that's where I was going. Uh, that, that, uh, unless you go into stream reasons. Well, you're fine, but it's, uh, well, it's but the only way to get out of it. But, but I mean, but, so what I, what I was, was going to say that if we're going to, if this is going to apply retransmissions, then not only all objects in the group, but all objects in the stream have to have the same timeout for that reason. Yeah. So there, not there's, the, there's, not there's the, no, not necessarily. Not yeah. said, if you have already sent all the, the object one to 100, right. and you know the other guy has received them, it's perfectly fine to expire one to 90. Correct. But, but you could have expiration is but your expiration could be increasing. And you don't have in time. Your ADL could be going up in time as you're delivering on the stream, right? So there's no reason. That to seems be. very. That seems very. That seems like a foot gun. I to, think it's to I, like to like I, have a thing where like oh like I can re, you know like you have to retransmit this, but like if you're sure it's it's not going to like cause head line blocking, then you no, don't have massive, to transmit it. It's a massive it. foot gun. Like, I think so. I, let's not allow. That. I I think that. <laughs> In, in to the question of can you do it, I think you can, but I, I, I think yeah. that you, I, I mean, I don't know when we're going to talk about resetting streams, but I, I, I'd say that you shouldn't, if you ex expired the thing, to me, the semantics of that are that this data is no longer useful at the receiver, yeah. in which case a stream reset seems like the right operation to do. Yeah, well, but not no, because, well, because yeah, that's, that's, uh, even though that unit is, is not, know. even though that object is not useful, right. It, it's you, like you need it to process future objects because of the way this stream then it is be. useful it's not, not useful well yeah but like the, whoever's setting these expiration dates has no vision of like reassembly queues probably right no but i'm saying that if it's not going to be processed at the receiver yeah, i got you won't send it 
Yeah. Well, uh, it would be props to the receipt. But the right, entire so, room is in the queue right now. Just sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so the way you do that is if if if, if this expiration applies to each emissions, then you have a rule that that the expiration has to be the same for everything in the stream, not just the group. Yeah. Like if it's if it's if it's a track stream, it's one expiration. <laughs> I I'd be on board with that. Yeah. Don't understand how that helps. Can you walk me through that a little bit? Because then otherwise, okay, again, assuming that expiration applies to retransmissions. If I if I send something, it expires and I detect it as lost and I never retransmit it, I cannot I do not have a a, a, a stream buffer that I can deliver to the application on the quick receiver. Oh, Martin, I think you have a, li a layer violation because oh, retransmission, that, yeah. retransmission doesn't happen at the app level. <laughs> that's inside the quick start. Yes. Well, I'm, so, I, I'm, I'm not asking so, the question. So if we're banning it for retransmissions, that's great. Well, then this it, problem it, goes away. Yeah. Posted your information to the quick start. You say, yeah. make it, those 5,000 bytes, please send them. And the quick start says, I'm sending it. Uh -huh. Two things can happen. Either they will arrive, or the quick styles will tell you, I have, I have an error, the connection cannot proceed. Pretty much the definition of the API. So, well, there's no function of the API. You could do all kinds of things. No, 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 no. Ah. It's, it's the only thing is in the protocol. So, so if, yeah, if you cannot, if you have, if the you're unable to do it, but there's or, no time. Or, or you have a reset. But there's no yeah. timeout, yeah. But there's no timeout. Okay. Yeah. There's some, there might be some kind of explicit signal that says, I'm fucked, I couldn't do this. But, but then there's yeah. nothing the application can do about that. Just, I mean, do some corrective action after that as well. Okay. So, so basically, if you have passed it to a quick start, mm -hmm. the application doesn't have to worry that 500 bytes are missing and need to be with yeah. okay. That's That's a walk of the If we say this is nothing to do with distributions, I'm done. I'm perfectly happy with this. And just to be clear, I think that it's not a layering violation. It's more of the expectation from the mock layer that quick is going to deliver this before the expiry timeout. That's how I'm reading this. And you had to come up with something around what happens if Quick is unable to deliver it before the expiry time. That, yeah, that's a reason. That's a reason. Well, I think the reason okay. I got does everybody, if, if, does, if that last sentence I just asked, this has nothing to do with retransmissions. Maybe. Some later day we might talk about stream resets. But Maybe. thank everyone for the spelling, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just so I'm, yeah, I'm satisfied. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to run through the current queue is Will, Luke, Suhas, Ian, Daniel, Mike, Mo, Victor, and Colin. <laughs> anyway, take you out. I know. It's like I'm the one guy. Who's not yeah, mine will be quick. Okay. okay. On the min max point of view, so we want to accommodate the use case, where, like the YouTube use case, where we have live clients that have different tolerance for latency. Some are at the bleeding edge, some are five seconds back, some are 10 seconds back. The 10 second ones are playing the same stream. They don't want the object to expire in 500 milliseconds. They're willing to give it eight seconds late because they've got a 10 second buffer. So because you, the relay is taking the min or the subscriber and the publisher, the publisher in this, to make that use case work, the publisher must set the max that it is willing to allow any client. Can I ask a clarifying question? On the yeah. It says the relay takes the min. Does that min apply to how the relay forwards subscribe or how the relay treats delivering to this client. I think it must be the link. Just the next call. It's only the send. It's yeah. not subscribe. That's a nice the need also. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so the is per subscription. The min is per subscription. Yeah. But if the relay does something that we're getting, it has to take the max. Okay. I think that makes sense. Thank you for a lot of time. Is that, what, is that your well, point? My point, I don't yeah, know if yeah, people yeah. realize that to accommodate that use case, you have to be careful on, on the publisher side, you must set the max value of any client. Yes. And then those clients, the clients of the live age have to voluntarily reduce that. They have to set a smaller value. But you, your YouTube publisher is talking to your YouTube client, so you would work, work that out. OK. Luke, so two things. Um, we kind of have to talk about stream resets, mostly because of the priority slide, actually, to say you can't send expired objects. The only way I can do that with the quick API is to reset a stream. Otherwise, I flush those objects already. I, I need to like say if it's timed out, I need to reset the stream. Um, so we do need to talk about that. And two, I don't know when I should stop the timer. Like quick libraries don't necessarily expose acknowledgments. If you're assuming we stop the timer when an object is being delivered, like if you set a timeout of 300 milliseconds. I don't know when it's arrived. When do I stop the timer? Does you, you implement a TTL feature on your streams 
in your quick library? Basically, that's you, you can copy the code. Right. Yeah, you, you have to you have to do a custom quick implementation to basically set a deadline for every byte almost, right? Every write. Every quick implementation is custom. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I can't I just, <laughs> good idea. I that think is kind of the problem is like I can't implement this in web transport. Um I can't do this with most quick I don't think any quick library that I use has it's an interesting like, question. You're saying that there's no there's no uh, reporting up of when bytes yeah. are delivered. Yeah, some, some stacks do. Sometimes I know that there are yeah. stacks that do it. Yeah, but may, maybe it's it must be requiring that effectively event. because you just otherwise you don't know when to stop the timer. Also, so, or, or it's it could be an API requirement, but I think that's a good thing to come out of the blue as well. Um. Yeah. So just a minute. Showing within in the queue, I don't quite understand what you guys. Uh, I'm not understanding that one enough. It's because. I can explain why. So it's if you have this model where you're doing the prioritization, like most of the prioritization really in quick streams, with quick streams, right. it's not like you're doing it like at the mock layer, really. <laughs> I mean, maybe you're doing a little bit of both, but like there's always like data input buffers. Then the like you don't know if there's no not not notification like this stream has been completed, all the data has been delivered. And so you don't need to cancel it anymore or anything like that. And there's no. So but you, but this, this is this is just a clarifying. This is on a design where you push stuff into the quick stack, but you can still expire it. You can and if it hasn't been sent, no, you, can, like, you can, you can cancel it. You can reset it. You can, you can reset it or cancel it and you can uh, reprioritize it anytime. You have a numer numerical and so most APIs will tell you when it's being fully acknowledged. Can I, fully. Can I clarify acknowledged. this? I think maybe just to clarify. We're this. like three deep in our clarification yeah. questions. Sorry. People I'm going to I'm going to. So the point here is that pretty much any quick API, it doesn't matter yeah. whether you're sending data in, reprioritizing, whatnots. Time is not a thing that exists right now. Yeah. So you don't have like completion notifications of things that you can receive in some stacks. Right. But expiry time is not a thing that that exists. Almost look, in any look, how do you, how does anyone expect to do expiry time for data they've already sent into the quick stack? Never mind anything to do with priorities. I mean, your stack has. Yeah. Okay, I'm just curious. That's why. <laughs> That's why I said like, yeah. but it's not exposed to like any other API. I mean, you can just you can reset on the timer. Application yeah. can reset, exactly. reset, but that's but like, after, after, after the stream, stream fin. fin. After the stream fin, you start a timer, then reset. But that's how you do it. You reset. Reset. Yes, after you write a fin, start a timer, reset. Okay. okay. No, but that's it. Yeah. 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 yeah, we've got Suasi, uh, Daniel, Mike, Mo, Victor, and Colin. A lot of people in the queue. There's a lot of people in the queue. We'll expand the data. Do we? Do we? Are we just going to be expired? Are we all aware of what the high level point? This high level. Thing we're trying to make progress on is no, I'm totally no, I don't think. <laughs> so we'll do bring us back on track. Okay, um, what well, so everyone they, we're trying to build consensus on everything on the slide? Should we go bullet by bullet? Let's like, see. in a deep queue, like, I think we're like people are trying to share the thoughts that we should go through without disruption. Okay, let's everyone just and then uh, because okay. like we're making the eight of you get one minute to speak. <laughs> we'll, we'll, yes, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll try to. to Victor, you're already in the queue. Oh, I just wanted to ask uh, the great thank you and go drink coffee after that. It's it's probably, probably clock, clock, clock. too early for coffee. It's 45 minutes for coffee. Uh, uh, the coffee will be on the way. The coffee's going to arrive when the coffee okay. arrives. So let's go. Let's hear what you have to say. I have talked about a couple of points. In the last interim, we had a rough consensus on object having expiry on Victor, so on ESPR. I, I, this looks like we're re reopening once again after we had rough consensus. I don't know but, how, how uh, half of it was there was consensus, not on the subscriber side. That was um, that was the max cache duration. Cache duration. Different. Yeah, yeah, different. This is okay. not this is it all looks so many. Yeah. <laughs> oh, regardless of <laughs> of that, like we are we're trying to mix uh, fixed stream mechanisms to mock object semantics. What this is trying to say is that an object has an expiry, uh, and you you went through your algorithm. This object was selected as not expired or unexpired, and you pick and send it, hand it out to the quick stack. That's it. What quick stack does that with has nothing to do with that. Is like while it's in the retransmission loop or whatever, this object expires, ends. I have to retransmit. I have to uh, 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 reset the stream or something. That's an application choice. An application can just leave the stream on its own. Or an application basically can say, okay, my timer expired for this object. I, there's no point for me in resetting because I'm in the worst Wi-Fi situation. The, why should I keep sending uh, my 1080p frame? I can reset the stream. I, I making this an a, 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 a face shared with a quick stream mechanism is something causing conf confusion here because this application is the one that has to reset the stream or let the stream go through. It also just priorities. 
Yeah, based on the priorities, you pick this object, and it's not expired, and there's an next thing you have to send. I was saying there's another degree to feed them, and quick though. No, it's no. There's a problem oh. here. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, yeah. I'll come back around to you. You can write it down in your notes. Um, okay. Is that all you wanted to say? So? That's it, that's it. Okay, Ian, you already were talking before. Did you have another point here to make? Um, originally, I was going to talk about the YouTube live case and why it's useful to have subscriber driven latency, but it seems like we're past that, so I don't need to explain okay. that. Um, oh, okay, okay. yeah, go for it. Okay. And it's retransmittances. <laughs> <laughs> Now get, we'll get everyone retransmittance for Stockholm in January. Anyway, okay. I don't think that's what we're doing. Daniel. I think this is fine. Yes. This might just be a small clarification. When we say all objects in the group have a same expiry, is that like an expiry timestamp based on the first object received in a group expires the entire group, or does it expire an object in the middle? It's the relative expiry time. All objects inherit the same. All objects are the same relative. Because then if an object in the middle expires, do we then expire every object after the after the group boundary, or do we send these later objects and just send the application figure out to do it? And we had this discussion. And what was the answer? The proposal was no, it does not expire because if you have a 500 millisecond timeout and a 30 second gap, you would never be able to send anything if you think it expires the whole sequence. Okay. Okay, but just to clarify, the way. If you That's, that was the proposal. I'm not okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the, the current spec says you can't there, remove there. objects from the multi object stream. So if you have an object that's expired, but the right. next one isn't, the, 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 but this, this is I, my, my, my view is this is about selecting what to send next. It's a, this is about this question on this previous slide of ignoring the expiry objects. And so whatever this is, this like by the time you send it to quick, I mean, yeah. you want to say what happens when it's in the UDP buffer in the kernel? Like you can't do anything. With no, it. no, 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 nothing to do with that. I, sorry, I'm just trying to clarify here because it, if I, it's expired, okay, object seven is expired and it's in the middle of a stream, and I'm not, so I'm saying I'm not going to send object seven, and I never, it's never going to unexpire. Seven is never going to happen. I can't send eight through infinity on that stream because there's a gap. This, that would create a gap. Yeah. Which we said we didn't want to do. So I that was my question too. So you think you're on the okay? So what's the answer? What's the answer? <laughs> One object ex reset the stream. So I think no, 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 you should do this. Do, like it, it, the like, reason the reason you don't want to have a hole in the stream is because the object cannot be the next object cannot be replayed without knowledge of all the objects before. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. But if you miss one of the objects before. You have to have another whole group. Yeah. Why, why, it, the, whatever the 40 purposes. If you're using odd stream or object, then that's fine. Go ahead and not send it. Don't create the stream, reset it, doesn't matter. You can go ahead and send the next one. Mm -hmm. So the let's same, say that was okay. Why, why don't you go on stream group, but just okay. yeah. the hard group. EV stream for object. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so, so for stream per group, I think the posit is that if you're not going to send it, you need to reset that stream. Right. Yeah. You, you, just, you need to have another group. group. Yeah. What's that? You need to abandon the group. Abandon the group. Yeah. It's, it's, okay. There, there's still Mike, Victor, Colin, John, but does anyone want to speak against? Down. But I think Colin, you disagree, or yeah, or disagree? I, I mean, I don't, I don't understand what that even means. I don't but understand the, the, how you know it wasn't sent. I, I understand the some. No, no. I mean, you, your your application before you even send it, you're like, well, it's time to send object seven, but object seven has now expired. Fire. I'm not going to send it, but I've already sent one through six. Yep. And just like you can thin that stream, or you can uh, be a great and example of why you'd want to thin it. You just thin the stream and be like, <laughs> you're not getting any more. Okay. So, so, time that, that was, that was, so, uh, 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 okay. So, I don't know how to go. I'll wait till my turn. But, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, then it's my yeah. picture, Colin John. Okay. Uh, so I would like to address the first point and clarify what the times are relative to. We've said reception time, but I think the case that Will brought up and Ian was mentioning the like longer latency subscribers that are behind the live play edge. Uh, if you want to play back a live stream, you know, and you want maybe to allow somebody to delay half an hour, you can say fine. Publisher can say, you know, the max is half an hour. But if you want to be able to play back that same stream at any point. Then you you open up a, a weird can of worms with the state of your relays and when they've received things. 
but like because the, the timer starts when you receive it. I feel like it might be better if we have this relative time be somehow relative to on a per subscription basis. So like when you go to take it out of cash or wherever you've gotten it from to send it, maybe that's when I quit. I did hear in the or morning someone said that it's like from when the object hits the send queue is when you start the timer, not when you received it from upstream, not when you put. So if you go, that also eliminates the receipt versus cash. But I don't know if that's what. But if you saying. receive it late, I guess if you receive it late, then you get more time to send it. It's only going to be later that you write it to your send queue. So that's the same case actually. It catches. That's the same the as the TDLK case for caches yeah. anyway huh? for caching objects. Did, did you cover what you wanted to say? Victor Colin. Uh, what was the answer to Mike's question? Oops. What was the answer to Mike's question? Uh, that <laughs> the, 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 the reception on send. I, mean, I don't think this works. I mean, look, it, 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 the, 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 the packet arrived in the relay. The relay has all kinds of incredible stuff buffered up. So it takes 10 seconds before it, and this had a TTL of 500 milliseconds. Okay? It has all kinds of stuff buffered up, um, and it takes 10 seconds before it starts sending this packet or even drops it into the quick queue or does anything with it, okay? And like at this point, it is not useful for the, I mean, the whole point of the 500 milliseconds was the subscriber saying, I do want this data is not necessary. Oh, do not send it to me. So I don't think that anything other of that, I don't, I think we do need to do it on when it arrived at the proc, at the rematch. But, but, okay. I was saying it's send time. It sounds like you're also saying send time. Just so you're saying it's send time. I think that's. I, no, no, but, but Colin, well, you, you don't want to deliver that data in that case, right? If you have a 5 minute number and you have a 10 second period, everything is fluffy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the send time. It received it a long time ago. But at the same time, it's it's saying, saying, wait. No, hang on. when the timer starts on the high. All right, but we still have uh, here, Victor, you're about to come yeah, just, but, but, but I think Mike and I might be saying the same thing. Yeah. Like, let's just clarify this. In, 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 in. So oh, no, I'm saying that, what, that no, there's, no. I, I, the time, there's no time. For sure. I'm saying that when the packet arrives in the relay, you record a timestamp of when it arrives. It also, you have for it a, a TTL, for lack of a better word, right? And at the point that you're ready to send this, and I'm not sure what send means, that might mean give it to the quick stack. It might mean the quick stack, give it to the UDP stack. I don't know what the hell I mean there. Somewhere, okay, somewhere between those two. You look at whether the current time has exceeded that TTL, and if you don't, you don't send it, that's for sure. And you may or may not fin or reset the stream, right? So you're saying the same thing. But I think I think Mike's wording is better. Send time, not arrival time. Well, send decision. I don't. I don't think we're quite saying the same thing. Uh, but I. I don't think I can really articulate. It. I think I sort of understand. So, which should the relay processing time factor into the email? No. I think the answer is. Can you expire inside of the relay? Should we have an option? Yes. If your relay is too slow to process the objects like it. Should we have an option to use an NT? Use NT? This is the Well, no. I understand that someone wants to avoid it. But if you're doing real time application, and the delay is based on the same circuit, how long it takes you to, how long did you wait from the sun's yard out of the mouse to the outside onto your speaker? And you say it is more than five seconds. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Then, 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 then you are speaking absolute time. Okay. I want to sort of get back to the queue, but I think I'm trying to restate what Mike's trying to say and how different. And I, I, I agree with like it, it, it's sort of like I can articulate it again, maybe. So I think okay. there's, there's a playback property. Like I want to keep the buffer, you know, that is the size, and I want to skip ahead. You know, if if things expire out of that. That's like relative to when I started playback, when I started my subscription, at whatever point, whatever object, I decided to subscribe to. We can subscribe at different points. You can, you can go back and say, right? I don't want the latest group. I want, you know, to get yeah, like, somebody else has, has been using the same relay that I happen to connect to. So the timer that you're starting, you, you receive the object, starts earlier than I might want it to. 
This is just one time the relay receives the object. <laughs> right. So there's so, some clients well, that will then want that object you might much want, lower well, threshold. There's, than there's, two, there's two different things. There's one, which is kind of the playback property of I, I don't want to wait any longer than this, or whatever I'm receiving, you know, whatever point in time I'm receiving that. Like maybe I'm time shifted off of live by 30 minutes, but I want my playback to, you know, kind of skip ahead what, at whatever point I'm at. Then there's the other point, which Richard was bringing up, which is like absolute time. And I think what you're describing is somewhere in between the two. It's neither. It's not, it's not relative to my playback properties, and it's not absolute to you know the program starter that we would need time sync for. It's somewhere in between. Yeah, it's, okay. it's relative. I just going to ask a clarifying day. It's relative to when the proxy received it, which is a loose approximation of NTP time. With, so that you don't have to do an NTP time, but like if everyone had perfect time, you do that. No, Ooh. look, I want to. There is a cue. So I do want to okay. get back to it. Christian will put you in. Um, but can I just like maybe before I go to Victor, just ask this question, which is, do you think that put it in the ether? Do you, in your use case of being thirty minutes behind live, do you still want the dropping? Properties you would have if you were live, or if you were ten minutes behind. Do you still want it to skip ahead, or do you want it to buffer? Or is it usually okay? Uh, that's all I'm yeah, all right. that's, I guess that's okay. So you still want some kind of drop your behavior, you behavior like, even if you're not live. Okay. How do you? How do you do it? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay. Victor, finally, if you're here. Victor, Colin, John, Luke, Christian, if you want to say something. Here, you know, no. I think I was going to make the same point as it was made, which is like. I, it is pretty hard for like I really have easy way to understand like in the you drop the stream at the end of the group like your timeout starts at the end of the group like I can kind of understand how to implement that and we implemented that before but the problem I have with the start of the group. I guess the, the main problem is that I usually, uh, it's just like stuff clear to me. I have some, uh, usually I would try to buffer all of my objects as soon as I can. Uh, and that's because it means that like whenever next time quick stack has an opportunity to change, I, it does not need to upcall the application. It knows everything what it does. And that is especially important if you're writing in something like uh, JavaScript. Like you, you don't want to run a controller from JavaScript to JavaScript is like in a different process than the set box, anyways. Quick to use a controller for you. Uh, and uh, I guess there is some notion of buffer control in terms of bytes, which is that uh, there, there are finitely many bytes that you can queue up before. Uh, uh, and this, like, if you could somehow translate those by to timeouts, this would actually work. But others is that. Like, are you writing relays in JavaScript? Oh, uh, it does not. It's a, I'm writing publishers in JavaScript. Too. But none of this is going to ever apply to a publisher. Publishers have to do this too. But, like, publishers have to run yeah. the success thing. Yeah. yeah, OBS has to do it. Like, it has to do it. Because the publishers have to deal with the published side of a relay that has to yeah. do it. There isn't that much in terms of differences in relays of publisher and original publisher, except maybe original publisher might have more information. I got you. Yes. Um, I'm also wondering if when we get through the six people, seven in the queue, that maybe do we want to, do we think we're making progress here or do we need to table and move on to one of our other five or six rattles inside decisions? <laughs> think about it. Okay. Is that all you want to say, Victor? What, what do you want to change? Just like give us like. Uh, I mean, as I said before, I want to like two modes, but I'm not sure how I would implement the first one. I have to like think very carefully. Like my main problem is that it is very hard for me to understand when when the re when the sender like the gap between the send the gap is too far. Because I just try to buffer as much as possible. Okay. And uh, like, and I don't actually like if I, I was not buffering it. This was learned since data comes and they send immediately. 
I could enforce it X for a onto whenever I, at the moment that I send, because that's like there is immediate like I try to not because I want to make buffering buffer more stuff because buffering more stuff leads me to more CPU efficiency. Yeah. Colin, John, and Luke, Christian, Sue, us, Ian. So I, you know, I, no one's really, you know, we, we get a fair amount of like, I want to buffer everything and I can't delete stuff once it's buffered. So therefore expiry is hard to implement. That is unquestionably true. No question about it. Um, so that could be an argument of, I don't want to support expiry. You could argue that. Um, but it's not, a, and no one's talked about the DOS potentials on the relay side of this sort of thing yet. Um, we have, that's why we did the mint. Well, yeah, that's what, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but but of the just being able to, if, if we start the timer at the end of the group or something, I mean, it's just like, I don't, you know, that's way too late. I, I mean, it's all over by the time you've sent the last part of the group. There's no point, the whole point of what expiry time is supposed to do doesn't work if you're trying to do it at the end of the group. Um, so what I was going to propose is something that maybe split the difference on this a little bit. And I don't really think it solves the fundamental problem to, to, to some degree is uh, that if in your transmission you encounter an object that has uh, expired, okay, when at the point you're about to go add it onto, you're going to go at the point you're about to add an object onto a quick data stream. If it is expired, you spin or reset that stream, okay? Uh, and that, that might solve other problems. And if and, and the next time you encounter a new object that is uh, that may be in the middle of a group or something but hasn't expired, you'll open a new stream to send it on. Um, that, that may solve some of the issues here of trying to do this, but I'm trying to resolve this. And, but like the, 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 like why you guys are having a hard time suggesting something is the, we can't have it where we need to expire. We queue everything as soon as we receive it. We acknowledge we need to expire it, and we don't have a way to remove things from the queue. That's yeah. an impossible problem to solve. Yes, I agree with that. Right, and so I mean, John, I think would tell us that is not the right way to use a quick stack. But that's you know. <laughs> I would, yeah. Okay. I, I think John, I don't next, think so yeah. <laughs> is there more you want to say? Um, so you're saying if you want to, what I think. So I, 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 I think I'd be are... asking a little bit of feedback right now, like, hey, you know, would that solve the problem? Like, do you, does, is that a reasonable characterization of of, the t of what's causing this difficulty in finding a solution here? And would, even though I I didn't think we'd said it, talk about resetting streams, so I thought it'd be too hard. Would talking would just that proposal for resetting the streams resolve this problem? If you I think if that, 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 that not resetting, just saying everything else after that. It's either ignored or reset the stream. I think there's some ah, okay. Okay. So there's some there's some confusion about exactly what resetting actually means. So if I can respond to this, let me. Do, I just want to make sure that like, I understand the proposal you're talking about is that if I have objects one through six, seven expires, I thin that stream and open a new stream you do and would send eight through whatever. If they hadn't expired. If they haven't expired. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. only seven so, had expired, I just make it right. Yeah. So, so hang on, hang on. Colin, Christian's gonna expire. Yeah, okay, okay. No, hang on. <laughs> okay. I want. I want to just just just. Donna, Luke, Christian. I just want to make sure that was the proposal. That, I, that was what you were proposing. Well, no, I was asking is something like that it solved the problem. You guys did Okay, Jonna, Jonna, Luke, Christian. See what I'm saying. So I want. I want to. I want to go back to this just for a second because I think it'll actually be helpful. Um, one thing that we cannot walk away from, and one of the things that I I, I keep going. So, I'll throw a wrench in here and then walk back very quickly. We talk about object expiring, we get arbitrary times. Let's say, oh, groups, let's say all the group will have the same expiry timeout. You're in the middle of sending an object. The objects expire. If you go back to your prioritization algorithm, I will no longer send anything on this object, from this object anymore. Yes. Yeah. So you have to do something to the stream at that point. No matter what level your stream is mapping to, you've got to do something to the fucking stream. Cool. So, hard so, so, <laughs> so going back to, to the expiration time thing, you cannot walk away from uh, the stream mapping and the primitives in Cook. In fact, I want us to make quick a friend here that right? we can actually use, and that's where I want to go. The the uh, the data model in Quick is very simple. If you understand it, it's it's easy. Then you can figure out how to map it. But the data model is that generally the data structuring that Quick offers to you is streams. There are datagrams as well, but I'll leave that aside for the time being. Streams. Streams you use for 
uh, uh, delivering things in, 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 in order at the, at the receiver. At the center, all you do is you can prioritize across them. You can dynamically prioritize across them. I think all implementations support that. You can keep moving, changing priorities across streams. If you put something and you want to remove it, you can still do that only at the stream level, though, because there is no, there is, there is, you cannot expect that anybody will have markers or any framing inside of a stream. So if you want to cancel a stream, it may not have anything to do with quick at all because the stream as an abstraction is available. You have a queue and that is a stream and you put something in there. The quick transport may not even have started transmitting it. So when you cancel a stream, all it does is drops the, drops the stream entirely and nothing goes on the wire ever. So absolutely you can cancel things, but the unit is important. You can cancel streams, which is where I think that you will go down into the, the last point there. I don't think that stands. I don't think you cannot Retransmissions and stream resets are actually two sides of the same coin. You either stream reset or you fin. You have to do one of the two. And if you want to fin, then you have to do retransmissions. If you don't want to waste bandwidth, then you have to do stream resets. Um, and, and that's basically where it goes. Now, the way I see ultimately streams is that if you want to have multiple expiration times effectively mapping to a same stream, then you will end up wasting bandwidth, no matter what, because you will end up having a situation where something is expired, but you're going to have to send it, which means you go back and change your priorities, you have them, by the way, because you have to include things that are expired, but you're in the middle of sending, so you finish sending it, which makes it complicated. So to me, basically, a stream should be the unit that we talk about mapping to, and if you want to cancel things, that's fine, cancel a stream. What does that translate to? I don't know, but you cancel a stream. Maybe it translates to a group, an object, whatever it is, but you cancel a stream. So if, if things that are expiring at the same time should no longer be transferred on the wire, then map all of those things to one or multiple streams that you can cancel. Otherwise, you will be stuck trying to figure out to transfer things that are no longer going to be used. Okay, Luke. Um, I was going to throw a wrench in things again. Um, as long as you take it back, like, like uh, calendar. Yeah, so I think part of the problem is like basing times on arrival timestamps. It's kind of like Christian's point. Like it's just a guess for like NTP. It's a guess for presentation timestamp, really. End of the day, what the use case here, everyone, step back a little bit. Is we're trying. We want to specify the maximum jitter buffer size. We want to say after 500 ms in presentation timestamp, this is no longer useful. And we're just guessing based on when it was received in the relay. Like the relay could have an empty cache that could download it network speed and all of a sudden it has 10 seconds in the cache instantaneously and if you base on the arrival timestamp we will serve all 10 seconds to that user um really what we want is we either want we want something that is not based on the wall clock time we want either ntp or presentation timestamp or even just the number of groups like just like the subscribe say just give me at max one group and cancel anything older than that um that's one way. And it also, to Cullen's point, like basing timers on when you receive the end of a stream is problematic for other reasons. Um, so I think if we go back to the use case, we we might we might want timestamp somewhere if this is an important use case, or we can find another way of doing it. Okay, Christian. Okay, so breathing. So I mean, uh, I'm trying to think why do we want to expire objects? And there are really two reasons. One is because we want to not use transmission resource to send stuff that the receiver will not process. Mm -hmm. And the other because we want to not keep buffers by the relay that are not needed. There's another reason. Maybe. Uh, now, the, the question that the idea here there is that those objects that we have are not independent. Even if they were not sent on the same stream, they have dependencies. If you cancel an object, you are de facto canceling all the objects that have a dependency on that object. And they are not necessarily on the same stream, not even necessarily on the same track. Sure. Like if you, if you cancel an object at the low layer track in an SVC thing, you're going to cancel the higher definition track that depend on it. So we should have a rule that says you cannot expire an object for which there are dependencies that are not expired yet. 
because if you do that, or you have to do it consciously of saying, okay, I'm gonna nuke the next five minutes of transmission, no matter what, because that object is 10 seconds late. And that's a decision that you have to make consciously. I would say, hey, be careful. It's not just comparing values. The thing you're processing at the receiver, there are two levels of processing. They're processing to update the state of MPEG or whatever it is that you are using, and there is display on the screen. Display on the screen is tied to psychological factors, like we don't want to see uh, stuff moving that you're not interested in. The updating the set of a bag or whatever is not. It's based on, do I want to keep it further? So then we have done experiments in which your Wi-Fi has 10 signals. But your uh, group can be well larger than 10 seconds, I mean 30 seconds. It makes sense in those cases to keep those objects that have expired and send them on your bandwidth so that the next one can be played. So we, we have to be we have to have that notion of dependency there and, and treat it consistently. It cannot be just with title. So the other point is that yes, what everybody says is it's really about absolute time, because if we have things maybe absolute time from the beginning of the session, absolute time from the from the beginning of the, the group or whatever. It's really about absolute time, and and everything else is an approximation of it, and we have to agree it's an approximation. We do a, can we do an approximation? What we aim for is not expire sooner than we would have with absolute time. That's that's what we do. Okay, uh, I've got Sios, Ian, and Victor, and remind people that we still aren't exactly sure what we're. Is there like, are people making proposals? People just, I don't know. I'm not sure we may need to move on to another discussion where we're making more forward progress. I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. But go ahead, Sue, Asi, and Victor, and we queue those. I'll start from the data model and go to the transport. The mock data model group, we decided we, we decide to put in to express one thing. Things in the group have some uh, uh, predefined relationship between each other based on what application decides the relationship is. It does this, it has nothing to do with how this, that thing gets transported. It's purely data model. I put in a group 10 things because I want those 10 things at end when I receive it to do something with it in that order I put it. That's what it says. Yes, quick provides a nice handle to say if I map that to stream, probably I put all the 10 things, I'll get all the 10 things. Yeah, that's that's the given thing. Nothing wrong about it. Hence, why not let's use that? Sure, we should use it wherever it's possible. But that nothing here uh forces a relay to make a decision on based on the application if uh, an application has set its expiry for the uh, objects within a group that so that so that they expire in between that's all it's get delivered because you did not put that object in time in in the group in the stream that maps to the group it's now the application's choice to decide what to do with the gap either it can go fill the hole by asking for something ask give me that object that you did not fill in or a lot of uh, new ML algorithms are coming, which basically uh, tries to interpolate and fill in the holes for you. Or you just freeze and you say, I don't, you, you gave me gaps. I cannot do anything with it. I'll reset the stream. Can, could you please reset the stream for me? Like what we're doing is we're asking Relay to make a lot of choices for choices for application. And because of that, we're asking Transport to implement those choices, which applications should uh, go resolve it. And, and if you really want uh, two kinds of behavior where I'm okay with holes, but Water you get in that stream per group, if I'm using stream per group mapping, put it and send water you could get then or says, no, I, I don't like that behavior, but I want you to nuke my entire stream. You can always have another subscriber flag. <laughs> says, either give me full stream or give me nothing. That's possible. But uh, the more and more I think we are trying to, there's a nice thing that Quick provides, but we are overloading that within what application semantics and decisions are, which only the end application knows what to do with if there's a gap or not. There's no gap. Okay, I just want to make sure. That I think you're you're saying that the the text in the draft that says you the relay can't drop objects out of a stream should be removed, and that it's okay to drop them out of a stream if they've expired. Is that, is that your proposal? I, 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 all I'm trying to say is that if I'm an application who wants 
my none of the objects within there should not be gaps on a transmit i would put expire at such a way if i i configured things wrongly things will go bad i should expect that things to happen okay. but, but that's, we that's fine. I'm, just, I'm just saying yes yeah. okay so that you agree that that's what you're proposing i guess that's on it's applications nothing to do with smoke transport okay thanks yeah uh, i was mostly going to say i think the idea of expiration means like has a clear and obvious meaning it for like uh subscriptions that are latest group and latest object and things that are at head but like if you ask for a range from 10 minutes ago uh like the subscriber chosen expirations i don't it doesn't feel like it should mean anything right does it have, can we just so, pause does anyone want to speak against this concept i i i think i agree but because i think they should be split into separate features right. can you repeat the concept for the notes? concept was if you subscribe to current group or latest group or latest object then these delivery timeouts apply if you subscribe to some range yeah. would not apply yeah although okay. jump to add to, if, if we've you subscribe to the, that that range in the past it's the max courage cash duration that most likely comes to apply which is not this right okay, victor, okay. victor and christian both want to speak against my sorry can okay. you repeat so this question doesn't apply to fetch is that the there's point? no word fetch or not but yes that, that is, it does not apply to it clearly applies to latest group and latest objects which are the first two filter subtypes and it does not apply to absolute range where the entire range if, is in the past. What about absolute start? start? The current, I don't know what to do. But it's it's right, right, like like cry. Cry. <laughs> okay. Um, is there more you wanted to say, Ian? Uh, no, that was most of it for now. Yep. Okay. okay. Victor, you're next in the queue anyway. And if Christian, you want to not talk about that after Victor, I think it's fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, regarding uh, that concept that they just suggested, the answer is yes, but also it, it sounds like a VOD problem. So yeah, I don't I don't think we should have like try to solve two mechanisms with the same hammer. Uh, regarding so I've been thinking of how to make uh, uh, the things that the like so it's true that they want to buffer as much as possible, but the things, the way I deal with the buffering is that, like, I buffer as much as possible, but I can also, like, destroy the entire stream if I can, like, if I decide that it's, like, uh, if the client is far behind that it doesn't make for me to keep that straight. So one way I could implement this is uh, I could, like, I do still want some limit and buffer and possibly, like, if I decide it's free objects, like, I would buffer free objects at time and then when I try to buffer the fourth one, uh, I will just like block and wake up when Wick wakes me up and says that I have can send more data. And uh, the, the like, uh, and if at that point the object I was to buffer next is expired, uh, since this would kick in, so that would be some delay. And like that does set limits on how low you can makes this work, but I guess that's like the property of flow property. So the more it buffers it like less reactive your system is. Uh yeah. I want to comment on the thing Luke said about how this is just proxy for presentation systems. I think to some extent it would be easier for me if those timeouts were expressed in like uh, object counts of objects instead of uh, uh, absolute times because I know where my last object is and uh, I know like if what if like if you're running at thirty frames per second if you say please discard streams which are like fifteen objects behind that's really easy to implement I just look at my queue and see how many objects and I don't need to keep any sort of arrival time sense or anything. That's a good idea. Just just one clarifying question about that. So if you are if you're expecting 15 frames per second or, or whatever it's 15 30 frames per second stream yeah. right and something's gone wrong on the upstream network and you're basically only getting two frames per second or a very slow rate you is it still? Uh, 
there are, is this required some assumptions that like on the same track like you have some consistent frame rate which but the only time this time yeah that's that, that's where i always get that's where i've been confused on people anyway but you could say more about how to address that with yeah. the accounts so, so okay if, if you, like uh, how do you communicate the fact that your frame rate change change to your application to your relay so, sorry let's start with your client how do you communicate you that? Don't. you send more frames and that's it you just send more frames and you just I mean, there's a timestamp, obviously. There is okay. There we have the timestamp. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, because I told her, CMAF has yeah. It, yes. Even that long is you could you could structure your application so that it still could intelligently set set the expiration in terms of object count. Yeah. Even at thirty to fifteen frames per second, it's, it's the one or two objects, right? That's the delta there. But they're still within your your timeout anyway. So. It's still within your threshold, your 500 millisecond threshold that, that we were talking about before. Yeah, you can you do can, number. You objects. can express that as number of objects, even if the frame rate changes. And the nice thing about number of objects is it's visible clearly to the relay, and we don't have any complexity about NTP. How do you know the number of objects? It's, it's only observable to the relay if the relay received 100% of the objects on time, which never happens in the case where this any of this stuff is a problem, right? If we don't know the number Same of objects. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so you're saying if the first the object it sees is late, mm -hmm. it's got to wait for more objects to pile up and be late before it can yeah. predict based on. If, if you say 100 yeah. objects, I'm going to just like, I think it's reasonable. Like, I know that you in some cases want to skip object numbers, um, or like some people. Wait, but even ignoring like, them. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. like, let's just assume that like the application knows how it skips object numbers or something. So it's like sure. 100 is the right number, even though it's 30 frames a second or something, like whatever. But, like, it's just math, right? So, like, and it has a starting problem. Uh, yeah, I mean, when the first object comes, it can still be late, and we have no sure. to count it. It's like a certain application. Okay, yeah. not everything has a copy, okay. right? Hold on. So, uh, Christian, and the queue, the queue is closed because we're going to move off this topic because we've been on this topic for a long time. Okay, I think that's unclear that if we know how to make progress moving forward. I just want my coach to suggest. I just want to add a small caveat to what I'll take the slides later. I wanted to add a small caveat to what I said that basically, if someone doesn't subscribe to the live edge, then they are uh, effectively uh, served with uh, a completely different uh, non real time matter. There is cases where people do not subscribe to the live edge because they are reconnecting. So I would much rather have a property that says, I am not doing real time, I am not caring about expiration, than having a uh, some kind of heuristic that says, oh, if number one is this and number two is that, then this. Sure, sure. That's, uh, that, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you have like a, well, I don't know. You're saying a property in subscribe, which is like, I would like to be live within. Yeah, some yeah basically, market. if you bother setting an expiration time during your subscribe, it is what it is. If you say, I don't want you to hold me to some expiration because I'm not in fact real time. It is different. Okay, I saw you, Victor, but the queue is closed. So, oh. suggestions on how to move forward. Should we just go to the next slide? Do people I think? think does someone see an action item that we have to move this forward? Because I don't I mean, know that another half an hour discussion is. I want to say that the stuff on this slide, I think, seems reasonable. I don't see disagreement on anything here. There's a question at the la on the last bullet. It seems like we are okay on everything else. Is that, is yeah. that fair to say? Could we do a PR for everything but the last bullet? Yeah, I think, yeah, and the, 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 your, yeah, your, 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 your mechanisms for doing this, it's what you're that's what I'm trying, right. what I'm trying to say is that I mean, I think the thing thing that's a question that's open, and I'll try and express it on good. Yeah, that. I think that would be good. If you get agreement on everything else, that would be your good. example that says, I mean, I have to drop object seven, and you can always start a new stream at object eight. Let's pull that away. Let's blow that away because it doesn't actually work. Right? Yes. It's gone. Yeah. What's it? My, I trust Kristen's right on that. I'm wrong. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Might that help us move make progress? <laughs> Mike's thing is still an open question. Yeah. So my so what what and the, the so the question here. 
so there's two, I'm not trying to write something down here, but there's two variants of this. So there's one of uh, whether we express these expiries in something other than milliseconds or other than time, right? If we set up an account of something, right? That's one sort of range of questions. And then the other question, it, it, there's still some angst about that, that starting them at receive time. Did ease stuff resolve that though? Not entirely. So I, I think that some of the discussion around switching to object counts or something gets closer to what I'm asking about. But the key issue is because the relays are doing aggregation, you have your timeout ends up being relative to another subscriber. Another subscriber. No, I mean you, if, if you're if you're not the live head for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. you're going to be relative to when the relay pulled in those objects for someone else, potentially, which means things might be expiring too early for you. You must set a much higher timeout for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It doesn't yeah. only go smaller. So yeah. there, there is an awesome mechanism. Smaller than the publisher. There is an awesome mechanism. The publisher, publisher has to set the value high enough to accommodate clients right. paying the right. Because publisher right. is the one who knows how much this data right. should be alive. I think I think the, the my, my right. suggestion here is to just to articulate the questions rather and than the so, so that you can you can yeah. both so, of them. So there is there, there is a asynchronous mechanism that can be used as well, which is the of not received. Fin and reset are signals by the sender. The yes. receiver can do a signal like stop sending. And that will be asynchronous. I mean if the receiver is sending on is seeing on group uh, uh, X objects that don't matter anymore. Yeah, we can add that in. It can send a stop sending in those other directions. Says stop sending me that. I yeah. don't need it anymore. And it's then, then the, the, the other guy will go, will do fin or reset. But it will be based on whatever time or number of evaluation there is at the receiver, not at the sender. That's again at the stream level. The subscription is a pretty broad. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're trying to articulate the questions that we have. You, you have, you're trying, Victor, you have something that you're going to like? Uh, did you ever like add the thing where different applications want to either like the house to steer down the trains or have timeouts at the end of the trains? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm your question. Are you did you listen to the thing that I suggested twice in this discussion? But, I mean, I listen to everything Tom said. You just were the ultimate talk. It's the end of a long week. Uh, yeah, there is. There are some applications where, like, if you get behind in a stream, you won't drop the stream. Yes. And there are some applications where you just want to catch up, but you yeah. still want to drop the stream if you have seen your stream. So, and Suhas replied to you that. Therefore, the publisher should set things appropriately for those two applications. Well, what they do you mean make that you or not? They should set this expiry time. Uh, so probably one of those applications shouldn't use expiry time. I, I no, you different. still want them to expire. I thought we talked about this in the interim or one of the meetings. Yeah. Like, Can we propose like just boxing this yeah. particular discussion yeah. because it captures both Mike's and Victor's points that the expiry time can be weird depending on exactly the particular subscriber's expectations mm -hmm. of when content expires. You can box that part of it. One resolution could be cautionary, sort of, you know, implement, like, tell subscribers to please choose expiration times uh, carefully, thinking about the fact that subscribers might show up later in whatever it is, or it could be other things, but at least box it into something so that you can move past on the rest of it. Can I handle just one, one point of that one? Which I, which I, can, I, can you help me phrase that on here? <laughs> can we have your keyboard? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I think that's an unfortunate truth. I think that that statement is a fact, actually. <laughs> yeah, but, well, I asked about that question because is there is there a use case where you want delivery timeouts, but you're some distance behind the live edge, and then someone said, "Yes, that is a use case." I only want to uh, expire if I have the next group that I can download instead. Yeah, and, and I, I think this is like way too aggressive. And what do you say that I have not, not heard a single use case on that? I, I think we should explore more the receiver driven stuff. Yes. A receiver could also do a subscribe update. You are sending me all these objects, but I only care about what is after this point. 
you can always um, yeah update yeah. But you'd be in a constant subscribe update loop. If, if every of every group would be late. You'd be yeah. stupid. You'd be in a constant loop. Let's send that for the packet. And will if, if things go really so bad, probably you should just subscribe, yeah, subscribe yeah. and leave it. There's something really bad happening at that point in time. Every every object is getting expert. Two things can happen. Either the relay the network is so congested, nothing is coming through, or the publisher has set such a low uh, uh, expiry and everything gets expired. There's no point to be in the conference call. You should go to uh, come to WebEx then. These are transient problems. They last 10 seconds. Like we're talking about a tremendous amount of getting out of a conference call. But, uh, I think we should move on. Yeah, 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 we'll we'll on. on we have more complex problems. Sure. Though, right? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> this was meant to what be an this. Um, <laughs> what do you think your are? What you think the sense of I mean, that did not work. I don't, I don't get a sense that we're have strong consensus. No, like, I don't think we have, we have like six. Proposals. We have like open, like, yeah. we have open questions. Like yeah, you know, it's, we have two open questions, but the rest of it is good. That's what I'm trying to say. Can we write a PR for the stuff that we like without, questions. and then I have we, more. <laughs> no, I'm sure there will be more questions. I, I think. I this. think. <laughs> well, okay, that's, people, that's fine. people need. To, I can help you with that. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's it's exploration is optional, though. The stuff we specified before. Exploration is one of the easiest thing to implement, by the way. And to translate these things, the, the only thing you have to be careful about. But the one thing to remember is that even with NDP, you cannot walk away from boundary conditions. Do not try to make this perfect, please. Because a sub publisher is never going to know exactly precisely which millisecond is the right time to, to, to expire this. Because trust me, a relay is not going to have that kind of granularity in its timers either. So uh, it's not, it's, 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 it's all, and then the relay will be inclined to actually sometimes ignore and, and deliver anyway. In fact, publishers will tell the relay to deliver even if this is why you have sent, you know, Basically, the 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 uh, sending stale the stale while revalidate. This is why you have those things, because once you have the data, publishers still want you to send it, even if you can't. Get so it. I think I don't think that you want to spend a lot of time here. Except Can I ask the clarification question on what's written. I don't know yeah. discuss, but uh, something here to ensure the expectations of publishers and subscribers are both met. I thought there's a point there that takes in of publisher and subscriber. Isn't isn't that an answer to that, or do do we think that answer does not satisfy the question? That may be adequate. I think that maybe yes, because we said we, we agree for rest of some of the Fair things. Is that part of? Yeah, I mean, I think I think personally that if you do the men here, that's enough. The publisher and the subscriber can both be idiots and do stupid <laughs> things. <laughs> that can always happen. But you can't foolproof the system here. So I would say yes, a min should be more than enough here to resolve it. And then if there's a real problem that somebody comes up with, then you go back and open this up and see how to fix okay. it. Okay. Would, people, would people like to see a PR that has the content of this slide? And then we can argue about specifics on that PR. Sure. Yep. Yep. I see I see nodding on that. And, and I would also like to see somebody propose the list or something, a, a sort of a, a, a version. So what we would do if we were basing this off counts of objects somehow. But I'm not opposed to that idea. I just can't get through my head how that would work. And I have like a PR for like what Christian suggested, like subscribe update or self sending, because it's a lot easier. I mean, I think you're going to have but that, that, that's, a, that, you, that's already in the draft. You don't need a PR for that. That's yeah. Well, that's kind of the point. Like, why do we need this stuff? Okay. Is that uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was holding myself. Um, because I've listened to the discussion. Sure yeah. <laughs> so, so just just to sidetrack, perhaps, like, I mean, is this expiration anywhere related to if you just abandoned or delete content? Or do you mean? So, I mean, like, okay, somebody got live and you would like to remove that. Let's say no. your, your relays are already having some, some sort of objects. Uh, and for legal reason or whatever reason, yes, you it does. take it off. That's in fact the third reason I was saying that you might only live is defined in a very particular way. Yeah. It's only so like it becomes live becomes recorded word content. Yeah. So you might have only uh, the rights to actually transmit live, but not recorded content. So my my thinking. Okay, that's that's right. Thank you. Yes, sorry. Yes. So so my my why I'm I was holding back on that one because it's just kind of policy and it might be something like post production kind of like you don't lie something happened you want to just take any object out of it this is something and different kind of control signaling to the relays drop every instance of these things okay. uh, this is not expiration that's my current motivation for not interrupting you guys but is that the right thing to do all right so we drop things right now um 
I want to keep that. So we sort of said the policy is like a separate thing, which we can tackle separately. I want to come back. So we said, I think most people said they want to see PR, at least one PR. I kind of want to ask John to write this PR. Sure. Um, you can ask me. Yes. John, will you write this PR? That sounds good. Um, you can always ask Matt to answer. You can, you can always ask us. <laughs> no, if you like to write a PR about how using subscribe update easy. and stop sending, yeah, can you help? Or, help or problems or well, it's actually not. But, I, I mean, I think what would be more useful is the people that need think we need this feature at all. Like, you know, I mean, there's fairly compelling data on why why where it turns this out to be feature a, meaning expiration in any form. Not sending whatever. material that's not needed. Why 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 just why why effectively ABR doesn't fully meet all of your needs, right? Is really what it comes down to. <laughs> I'm confused no, but, about what you're asking me not to do or do. Yeah. Well, I mean, this has been discussed forever. That's been a key point. I mean, if we're going to explode everything back to the beginning and say, do we need this at all? I don't really. No, I'm, thinking, I want, I, okay. I'm sorry. I was not trying to say that we was going to be okay. an either or. I think there's room for both. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke was interested in writing it down. It's, it's just he's already got that PR. And he's part of the stuff. publisher. It's much easier than the subscriber to say, I no longer want this. I, mean, I literally I know my buffer. I literally know sure. when I'm okay. I don't think there's a reason okay. not okay. to see a PR, which is like, if it's like whatever the text. We yeah, end up combining both before merging. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay, that's why I asked for both. I was not trying to okay. say that we we're not going to do publisher side at all. Victor, oh, I was going to answer Lucas. How far TT pen will get wait and see. And boy, I got eaten alive for saying how far TT. I mean, it's not it's not it's accurate in the first place. No, it's it's yeah. it's, 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 it's optimization to avoid. Like, so the use case yeah. at the end of the day is an optimization. Okay. to avoid yeah. it. We'll get yeah. some latency. All right, I mean, we'll we'll see a PR. You can argue about it. Whether we I, can well, I, I remember something I forgot to reply to my earlier point to uh, Colin May that regarding DOS, there is another issue that I opened, which is like you should have limits on how big your queue are, and we should have a defined story on what happens if you can maybe have too many bytes in the queue. But I don't think timeouts are a good answer to that because they're in time domain and like your resources are in bytes domain. Okay, I don't know. That's a good point, and we have an issue uh, for it. But. Type's question. question. Uh, what is the first PR about? First PR is what is it? the contents of this slot? But not the questions or something. The placeholder for the question. I think put a play. I mean, either put one option or another, or put an opinionated answer, and people can describe. So well, you debated an opinionated answer from me. You're not getting either of <laughs> But that's okay. I mean, people can disagree with. That. Uh, at least it's your second pair about uh, is it how many, how clients can use subscribe update and stop sending to assist in this process but the, the 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 question the question here just to, to understand this is this is not about max duration clearly um i think it's offline i want some clarification on exactly what the use cases are and the differences between max cache, max cache and this one and i know that there's some opinion here, but i'd like to just understand Exactly what people think this is. I, okay. I can I can clearly really explain not my opinion, but the working opinion. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Are are we good? You want to be ready for our next slide? People need to run use the bathroom. Are we well? So um, we have a scheduled break. We have slightly less than two hours. Do we want to take one or do we want to power through? Let's Oops. go to two thirty. All right. Let's see. If we okay. Great. Twenty two minutes on whatever the next slide is, and then we get a break. I still think. This may be the right slide to do next um, fairly quickly and see where we get on it. Um, oh, yeah. um, the proposals here, which might actually help clarify some of the stuff we had earlier here, is um, the, 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 we're talking about the original published priority here, not okay. Obviously, the subscriber priorities can change whenever they change and they have. That that's a little bit vague. We're talking about when can the original publisher change the original publisher priority on the on things. So can't change inside a group. If you and basically, I mean, I think what we're coming here would really, you know, John would probably phrase as you can't change inside a stream is what would be the summary of this slide, right? If you're doing stream per track, you can't change them mid track. If you're doing them stream per group, you can't change them. Um, yeah, you can change one each group. Um, if you're doing stream per object, then you can change them on each object. Okay. Um, and, uh, and then the last bullet point is has to do with the other thing. The end subscriber, of course, can change any can change this at any time it wants for any reason. So 
uh, let's, let's I, I yeah, opinion. So these priorities, original publisher priorities, apply for object. We, we're agreed right. on that. Apply for object. So depending on where I communicate them, if I communicate them in the object header, I can change them with every single object. If I communicate them in a in a stream header, I can. They're the same for every object in that stream. If I communicate them in a group header, they're the same for every object in that group. And That's if I put them on a track header, yeah. 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 So it. I don't see. I don't see the problem here. They apply per object, and where I communicate them de defines the scope of that. Yeah, I think, and I think that aligns better to some of what you know. The, the particular John's kind of on the last sort of you know three hours discussion or two of, of like you know the, the, the stream is actually in some ways the right thing to be tying this to. Um, so the that, only thing that the cook implementation will see. Okay, so first of all, any clarification? Okay, a stream is not a mock object. A stream yes. is not part of the mock object. It's it's the protocol that we use to distribute mock. Right? Yeah, it's right. Right. They apply per object. <clears throat> we send the objects. Well, are you right. arguing against something on this slide? No, I think it's <laughs> aligning, aligning. Is there anybody who disagrees with something on the slide they want to say? Ian and Luke, I think, had your hand up first. So Luke and then Ian. Uh, so we agreed we have a subscribe track priority, and you subscribe update if you want to change it. Mm -hmm. And if it's a tiebreaker, we go back to this. What's the use case for changing this at such a high granularity on like every stream? As a, this is the publisher side. Exactly, the publisher's priority, which is the second. In the so I got iframes that I want higher priority, and I have objects yeah. that carry iframes and object yeah. carry iframes. So you're changing the track priority based on no. I just well, never were to use the word track. We yeah. did, the track okay. priority is not a word the, in this slide deck. <laughs> it's just weird because the subscriber scopes priorities based on track, and this change scopes priorities based on stream. And again, it, it's a fall through. It's the tiebreaker. It's this is the tiebreaker, and we're changing it at a huge granularity, like a very fine granularity. I got you. Okay. Uh, so, Luke, your specific proposal then would be that. That the publisher can only set it for track. I'll put this in subscribe. Okay, it's like Will's slide yesterday. Yeah. Just, just before before you come to conclusions, right? This was a slide we discussed yesterday that has you know twelve and ten, thirteen on here. Do you have a? I think the question was, do you see a problem in that? That's that's. Uh, I know it's not what you're thinking. I might ask questions. Is there a, a problem with with changing it? Let's say we're doing stream per group. Okay, so it's just the most common thing to talk about here. But stream per group. Um, you see a problem on changing it at the start of each group. When which or, one would which use case would that be for? I just don't understand when you would use it, and it kind of creates Ian's problem where you just now have like weird track ordering. Like you're gonna leave the tracks randomly as a tiebreaker. Somebody just went to become the they used to be a they used to be not the active speaker. They just became the active speaker of the conference, and you'd now like to make them more important than the other speakers. Maybe there's another way we. That, I don't know. Uh, there's, there, yeah. there is 10 ways to skin that cat, no yeah. question about it. Yeah, so. we, 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 on the subscriber side, we do a subscribe update. Maybe we have like a already track in. update or something. Uh, but yeah, I, I understand. understand. The catalog, you're really but you know. Then we just skin that cat, but don't use anything about it. And this may be the potato peeler. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, okay, got it. Okay, Mo, Mike, Victor, John. Wait, did I kill you? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I think, <laughs> okay, you'll blend in on this. Because then, okay, a bunch of people didn't want to speak against on this slide. Yeah, uh, like, thank you, and I just okay. um, thank you. Yeah, yeah I, I would still rather have it on a per track basis because I think most of the time it's going to be constant for the entire track, and I think it it still strikes me as like a DDoSy sort of like the only people that are going to change it on every stream are the type of people who are going to like cause me a ton of problems in my server infrastructure. <laughs> Potentially, it causes me to like change like my execution tree for every single say i have ten thousand people who like all have a few subscriptions like super bowl whatever uh like every time it that super bowl is a bad example of course because hopefully a content subscriber publisher wouldn't do this but um every time the priority changes then like that whole algorithm of like pick the track that's or the subscription that's the you know high oh, priority right. like that that like flips around right and so like as i i keep and i Again, that goes back to the whole thing of like most of the time everyone's gonna like basically set it to a single number. And so like no one's ever gonna like really test the code that like 
is the abusive case, but the abusive case could be like pretty computationally painful. And so like, it, it makes me scared. Okay. It reminds me, like it's kind of like the two priority okay. attacks. All right, so I just want to show your proposal is per, you would think that the publisher should get it set it per track. Do you I also, think, if that is- I think it's fine. And, okay. it, and I think when we look at the use cases, like it still fits all the use cases. Okay, but would you also then have the publisher be able to update that in the middle of the track, like I'm publishing? It seems like a nice to have if we need it, but I don't know. I I, I don't have a problem with that, but it, 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 but it still has kind of a similar uh, problem. So. You can. Okay. Yeah. You need, you'd have to stop publishing or republish. Okay. It's so, opening up on stream mapping. So I'm just going to pause for a sec. So I, I had had a queue and then I asked if anybody wanted to speak against this and then Luke and Ian did, and then we started more discussions. Anybody else want to argue with them? I had my name on the queue. I know, I had a queue. So I still have Mo, Mike, Victor, Jonna, and Daniel. Um, and Sue asked, God, what happened to you? Um, I was too small. Yeah, I, I, I screwed it up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to repair. Um, so, um, Please, I'm just going to go through this order. I'm going to Mo, Mike, Victor, John, Suhas, Daniel, and um, please articulate what you don't like here and what your proposal is. Can go. I actually, can I just ask, uh, Ian, I'm not, I'm not, I think that algorithm was, was more about what you decide to send, not rerunning it on data that's already there. I, like, I'm sort of, I'm trying to get my head around right. what the, so when so, so if, if somebody if somebody changed it on every group right um when they change it i wasn't thinking that that caused you to redo any of your current data structures either. It, but it, if it does I, and like say more about that i guess what i'm trying to say what would happen is on that connection when you have to send you recompute and you figure out what to send next but it's only on that connection yes Ah, no, it's not just on that connection. This why is why it's a DDoS. Why? Is because if everyone's subscribing to the same thing, then one single datagram with a different priority can now cause me to do an operation on 10,000 connections. Why? You already have to, you have to forward that datagram. Yeah, that's, like, that's, that's a DDoS. I mean, that's, you shouldn't. I mean, that's, that's, that's okay, fair, but... I mean, you should limit it to that connection only. I think that is... Wait, wait. No, I don't understand what you have. If there's only one subscriber, I don't understand what it is you're, you're, you have to do. I mean, I, I, I you don't, don't propagate. Right? Okay, okay. So, hold on. No, no, wait. I thought I'm going to do, I'm going to call set priority on the, in my API, mm -hmm. on the stream that is like sending data. Uh, no, I don't think anyone was arguing to change the priority in the middle of the scene. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So are you withdrawing your previous objection? And I'm going to go. No, I still through. think it's skeezy. Okay. Hang on, scared. But, but no, <laughs> you're in the game. Wait your turn. Mo. Like, so like, on your last point, changing the priority in the middle in the middle of the stream. All these things are seem to be in the context of, like Jonah said, it's using quick primitives, because we think we have quick streams and we have priorities that we can set up streams. But what I heard, there's a lot of people that, in the room that they're not going to do anything at the quick layer. They're just going to do everything at their own application layer. And they want to do just in time to the quick stack on a callback to say, okay, quick says, I have, I have an opportunity, transmit opportunity, go. And the application has all the stuff figured out and says, boom, quick, just do this. Well, so the quick stream priority doesn't mean squat for that application. So there is no reason to constrain that application with anything to do with quick stream priorities. The quick stack is not doing anything for prioritization at that point. Except the doing everything, no, doing no, whatever it wants yes, but, with priorities. Okay. Um, Are you arguing against this? And what's your proposal? My argument is that this is trying to map to a quick stream priority, and the users of the quick stack, if they're not actually using the quick stream priority, what does it matter? Why are we dictating something that users of the quick stack are not actually going to do because they're doing it with application level? Is it break something? You want to do? Can I make a clarifying point? <laughs> Don't specify. The Let the priorities be anything that, that the that the publisher wants on any object and just let it go we should separate the conversation of what is possible I and mean, yeah not just making a point that i think we should separate what implement because this is quick priorities does not exist in the spec True. it is an implementation thing so i think we should separate out what implementation do from what can be expected in the data model of the protocol i think that's the fundamentally different i think it's just helpful in, in having the conversation because to your point of you shouldn't express you don't have to express, but you kind of have to express priorities because that's the way that implementations consume data right now. A quick implementation will pull data from a stream based on the priorities that the application has expressed to it. So, Some quick stacks. Other, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know, but, but I'm saying that that's an implementation thing, and I think we should not lose sight of the fact that we don't want to get into that here right now. Okay. Thank you. All right. Mike. 
I just got to get into that right, right now. <laughs> So no, I'll, you're on cue, man. <laughs> you want to go to the end of this? <laughs> Victor, <laughs> anyway. Oh, no, I. Uh, you can reset your. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> could you make this slide bigger? Oh yes. Sorry. Uh. Oh, we don't get you. Yeah. Okay. I think the first one is good. I'm not sure I understand the notion of individual objects having priorities, uh, but since they cannot change, that's perfectly. That's not question is good. Uh, I am not entirely sure, like, I can see the ability to change uh, publisher priority, like, you could try to make it to do active speaker thing, but I don't think that actually makes sense, because what you would typically have, like, that would imply that on subscriber side, all of those tracks have to be identical. And often on subscriber sites, I don't think you actually want them to be identical because uh, like you, you you might have like some idea of what or visible speakers that you might prioritize. So you might like the way I would implement something is like it would add like an urgent bit and like it would add like two levels of priorities for an active and active like a subscriber. That's when you see that bits, your thing switches. Uh, but that's uh, the, like I'm not entirely sure there are, are particularly good use cases for switching uh, priorities mid track, and it would be easier. So from implementation perspective, it doesn't matter as long as like it's on a single stream. Like I only set priority at the beginning of the stream, so like yes. that's whatever. <laughs> uh, I, I I'm not particularly concerned about that. Uh, okay, John. Um, I think I want to clarify this point that the value of doing things per stream, it's not that you cannot uh, change the priorities of a stream midstream, right? But the value of doing this is that if you have multiple objects with different priorities inside of a stream, you don't control exactly when you switch because the quick sender is going to keep sending from the stream based on what our priorities are. At some point, you switch it, and that's going to be at some arbitrary point. It's not going to be the, the exact object or group or whatever boundary you want it to be. That's what the stream gives you an abstraction that you can use. If you have one priority for, for the abstraction, the stream, then you can rely on the quick implementation, any quick implementation to actually respect that notion across these abstractions, which is whatever the stream. So in, I don't know, if, I, I'm trying to understand what cannot here implies. Is that, is this like a, a, a must not? In in RFC, yeah, I generate the first bullet. I'm gen well, generally, uh, okay. there's cannot multiple cannots or cans. Okay. I'm trying to understand whether this is a is if this is physics or if we are saying that okay. um, the we should well, well, application I, behavior. I, I'm saying the standard would say the publisher must not change the original publisher priority and block block block. Block. if it's yeah. must not, then I agree with it. it the, yeah. the cannot was the thing that got me confused. But I agree with must not speak English. Thank Sorry. You. No, you do. <laughs> okay. No, you're back in the end of the queue. Yeah, All right. Idea. That was John. I was going to say, okay, Suhas, Daniel, Luke, uh, Mike, if you want another swing at it. I'm uh, Alana. Oh, oh, Colin. I, I think I'm blessed. <clears throat> I, I like the direction of this one where uh, we are mapping the concept to the stream priorities and we define uh, the scope to be that one and that kind of naturally uh, maps to what um, mapping mode we use. But also I, I would want to kind of bring up a use case where you publisher can change priorities, which is in the case where you're distributing a conference to like say in, in a um, conference, uh, in a uh, team, uh, not team meeting, company-wide meeting, and you, uh, an SFU or something like that would basically have a layout. That layout would have one uh, big um, uh, rendering for someone who's currently actively speaking, a lot of small things, for others, depending upon your first active speakers, second active speakers, and those kind of things. But every time someone changes, the the person who will be rendered in, in, in the big screen will change. And the way you do it, you always you usually do the things is that you be ask for the thing, and if the person is not available, or this is called this is how a typical active speaker policy, as orchestrated by a media server works in most of the conferences that at least I'm aware of the architecture, where the, the the SFU basically decides okay right now Ian is the person who is the active speaker and I have this iframe when you need to wait for iframe because you, you measure your audio and you figure out you go to iframe and you basically send Ian should go over 1080p everyone else will be on lesser side so 
on group boundaries or on iframe boundaries, this is done today in every conference, almost every conference. I'm aware of uh, that, that, that which I've discussed with. And we do is based on further request and then we change it, or based on voice energy, wait for the for first iframe to come and we change it. Or this is this will give you a natural way on group boundaries to change it. So even if you stream per group, changing the priorities on a group boundary is still effective on your soul. But you change the resolution too. Oh, because active speaker you, it depends on the layout. Sometimes there are two ways to do this, right? There's a layout that's uh, orchestrated by the conference server to everyone, yeah. or there's other policy where a receiver selected, where the receiver can say, I want this layout, I don't want any one of those active speakers put him in 360p. That's totally fine. A receiver can still influence. But many cases, what happens, there's so many devices like skip devices, other kind of devices, they, they don't want the layouts to be changed. So basically, you say one layer to everyone. And so if you can expect in this box, 720p or 1080p, whatever it is, you'll get uh, the current active speaker. And this helps make the transition smooth. Okay. Thank you for the use case. We did say 2.30, which is in five minutes, and there's five people in the queue. So, Daniel. Uh, Ian hit my main point, but I did have, I, I overall like this, I just have one slight concern that, like, um, I think we might need to slightly revisit how we do the congestion case of ordering everything in the case where the publisher can change priorities per group, because we can end up in a place where you have multiple groups with different priorities set. And you need to resolve what the priority is for a given track in that situation. I mean, I think that's great. Ian's picture up on the yeah, yeah. wall from before. Right? Yeah, that's just like, oh, you, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember he's in the latest one as well? Uh, okay. It was two. Luke. Yeah, so I think the use, I, I love use cases. Oh, great. Uh, priority keeper is an interesting one. What Sue S mentioned is you have to make a new iframe in order to actually prioritize this active speaker. And I mean, like Discord is a minute gops. Like, we're not going to make a new iframe just because somebody started speaking. Um, so it would, I would actually much rather prefer to have like a track update message or something that tells you that the priority is now, and it applies retroactively. I need to continue delivering the rest of that group. Like, I need to catch up if I was falling behind so I can catch back up to real time. So I actually kind of disagree. I, I think reprioritizing within a stream makes sense. Um, I think this should be out of band. It's just like subscribe update is out of band. You don't have to subscribe at group boundaries necessarily either to change priorities. Um, and number two, and we haven't talked about this, um, we're making a lot of assumptions about the publisher priorities, what it's scoped to. Uh, we'll probably talk about this in a future slide, but if it's based on namespace, I don't even think this works. It's scoped to connection. It's what publisher is it's not based on connection. The subscriber one is scoped to the connection. Publisher is still scoped to, scope to the connection that the publisher that, that is connected to whatever. Yeah, it's so that, that assumes that if you have active speakers, that means they need to do the same connection when ingesting, which is they're going to have. Anyway, that's a whole can let's say that space requires a whole can of work. I think what a nation what, what, or at work. Like, there's nothing here that talks about stream reprioritization. Let's just be very clear. Well, it does. But that's it, does. Be, it says it multiple yeah. times. Yeah. No, it can. No, use, it, it, it actually stream. says stream prioritization is not allowed. That's not what the slide says. Okay, I think the, uh, just <laughs> rolling, rolling back when Ian said, I think what we talked about, like, yeah. if there was only for the whole, if we, it, is the counter proposal was you could just have a priority for the entire track. And if you want to change it, you would send an update message with yeah. change the priority for the entire track. I don't know. That stream per group is also per stream. There's nothing you're, uh, my, my point is that uh, meta point is none of these proposals are saying within a stream, you're not going to reprioritize it. Uh, I think we have to make that clear, clearly, clear. Yeah. Are, okay. Doesn't, if okay. you're using stream per track, for entire track, you cannot reprioritize mid, mid track. If you're using stream I per think there's a counter, I think there's a counter proposal. I would I agree that you want to saying... prioritize mid stream. Yeah, he is saying that he wants stuff. to do that. I think yeah. I think he is. I, I agree with that what you're saying reflects what's on this slide. Okay, but Correct. I think some people okay. think it's different. Yeah. Okay, so, so, I, 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 I didn't miss your point. Then I, I must apologize. But so I think you're saying you want to be able to change the prior the publisher priority in the middle of a stream. Yeah. When the, when I start speaking, I don't need to make a new gop. I can just imagine, change my my track. Up imagine there. bullet three okay. where you're doing a stream per group, and you're changing the priority within the group. Yeah, not within the group, but you're changing the priority of the group. And Victor's point, you're just telling the relay you're speaking now. Okay. Um, Mike, did you want to say anything? Okay. Uh, Mo, and then Colin, and then a break. The one use case that I have that I'm struggling with how to, how to support here, I think everybody has this use case also, is temporal scalability. For, for conferencing video, we always use temporal scalability. I'm sure Google Meet is using it too. Um, so 
VOD also has temporal scalability. All video, pre-recorded video has deep pyramids, deep temporal scalability. My problem is the proposals that I've seen so far, or the suggestions that I've seen so far is how to represent that efficiently in mock is do multiple tracks. That never ever works. We tried it in RTP, the MRST stuff, uh, multiple RTP streams or or uh, session of it. The complexity of trying to have multiple uh, demultiplexing your one single video into multiple transport streams and then having to remultiplex it back at the receiver and having pointers between those two uh, those two streams to stitch them back together is very ugly. So nobody does it. So how can mock deliver a single track, a single video, a single track? but yet have this temporal scalability, something that congestion control and priorities can operate on, I want to be able to say this, this disposable frame is lower priority, but I don't want to have to throw it in a whole other track just to say this is low priority. Ideally, I'd even like to be able to send us a datagram, not even have the retransmissions. But I want to make sure that for priority reasons, it gets dropped during congestion. I don't see a good way to do it. And if, that's the use case I'm struggling with for this. He did each frame as a as a stream, and that stream had lower priority. Wouldn't you achieve what you want? He's saying uh, group stream per objects. Yeah, in your case, yeah. for the entire track, one track stream per. Tried that just out of curiosity. <laughs> stream per frame. I mean, not stream I'm not. Okay, frame. we'll let that. That'll be a break question. Colin, you get the last word, and then we're gonna go. Okay, so having heard this, I I think I I move more towards the direction of where Lucas. I I'm I'm. I basically think that the should, priority should be able to change on every single object, um, and that uh, it, that I'm I'm not I'm not hearing a reason not to do that, um, and that whatever's happening at the quick priorities are not the mock priorities, and they are merely approximation of what we might be trying to have happen. And we'll figure out how to map those two approximations well together. And the answer may be they don't map very well together, you know, whatever. But that's a fine answer, too. Um, I definitely, um, something that was like when, you know, a, a, a sort of evil actor or, or just bad circumstances could cause you to send something which then caused a zillion data structures to all need to be reprioritized for the Super Bowl or whatever. That would be something that really convinced me not to go this way, that that was a real problem. But I'm not, I'm not getting anything like that. I mean, I, 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 can't, I can't see how this wouldn't work where you had a data structure when, when something arrives you can insert it in a better than log, a log in or better insertion. And then when you need to, and then if that's at one point in time, you remove it per subscriber, one point in time, you remove it with also a better than, you know, log in sort of operation. Um, if we're starting to do linear scans across everything, like that might, I'd rethink my opinion, but I'm not seeing any argument there is time. So that pushes me towards the simplest thing to specify would just be like, in the same way that the uh, the the subscriber priority can change whenever, you know, the end publisher one can change forever, whenever too, and it might take a little bit of time for that to propagate in some cases. So that's that's, that's, that's sort of where I come around to. I'm it. just trying to understand. Are you saying that you want the change? You, every object has its own priority, and that's out of band. Like a publisher is like, I'm changing the priority of the stream from one to two, or you want to in-band like every object coming by has a priority in it. And I avoided the topic completely of how. Okay, if that was intentional, I didn't mean to ask it. Forget it. I mean, just, just. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'd like an efficient encoding, but conceptually, the the there's at, at any object the priority could be changed at a conceptual level. I think what he's saying is that the object mapping is the data model here should be the that priorities can change at an object level because of in my mind the use case that looks at how that maps to streams is a separable question and we should separate it and it'll be an approximate mapping in that okay approximate the, translation you have 11 there. minutes to solve it over the break i have one quick on the notes question here, right? so we are basically okay. we agree on something or we're just capturing the notes of this part the last part where publisher can can change priorities like subscriber for object uh, for you, you, should we take a quick show of hands so that help people going into the break? what's the question i don't know so the question was that is for notes i'm basically trying to write here like we allow priorities for objects and publisher can change the post priority anytime and then subscriber can change the priority anytime i think that's, that's my proposal i don't think there's consensus i don't know i'm just asking should anyone like that? that 
uh, per track. I don't know what per object. I think what you meant per. I think what Dan said was it can track, change at any at no, any no, object. No, no. You, said you said you could said you could change no, in the middle of the track. He said at any point in time. At any point in time, you can change the track priority, which is not how, okay, so that, how is that different so, from okay. you can change the priority at any object? Yeah, it's not a track. stick boundary. It's just now. Because it is retroactively applies. Can I speak an example? Too many speakers. I think we're not ready for a show of hands. Why don't you guys talk about it during the break? We'll do a quick show of hands. I'm not. I'm not sure I hung up on the difference between those two. So yeah, there's, 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 there's a difference between the the object. Okay. Then you can only change that. Okay, stop. We're break. Okay, get up, no, get up, walk no, around. Walk around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Put it in the data. Yeah. 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 How much is that? Basically, just a little bit of 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 yeah, the way I would do active speaker is I would just like use active speaker as a catalog. Oh my god. Yeah, that doesn't work. That's so what I mean. And and I hate to say this, but we also want to change the uh, the order at some point too. Is that, is that an insertion? I don't think it's just so the it's kind of more catalogs that track. Because we might not be sending and we switch to ascending. So that's publisher side priority effectively. That's what you use for send order. Server side ads. Yeah. So, um, Colin, is it reasonable to? I just want to say goodbye. My, oh, my economy seat awaits. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks so much. See you. Likewise, I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, so, so, subscribe. Subscribe. So, Colin. I think I, I think sorry to leave. I just want to say I have to run to the airport. Bees on the yeah. Um, just to expect bees as a unit. I'm not sure, but attached to what? What's what's? I was thinking you're going to say in proposal. Yeah. What's what's what's? I'm just trying to. Yeah, I think that's fine. So what's? I'm just trying to articulate. I actually have some concerns about it because we find they are not again. I have speaker. It's tied to the objects that are that speaker's yeah. yeah. track. I was trying to, that's what I was trying to ask. Do we, it's weird. Do we want to add the objects or not? Yeah. Still do. Objects to ask. I mean, this, this actually, let's back up. That's, what we're doing again. So that's a great question, right? Let's say you're getting objects out of the cache. Do you expect to see the priority that was on them when they were sent by the publisher or the current priority for the track, right? Like, that's a pretty fundamental split here that we could go either way on, right? And I can tell you, I 100% always assumed that effectively priority was a cashable property. Right. That's exactly what I would like to know. Yes. Yeah. Well, from the publisher's perspective, I think it is, right? I think no, the publisher's priority probably is a cashable The publisher's yeah. priority, and I think subscribe yeah. while you're delivering. No, no, I, 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 no that, I think that's very. Subscriber sure, the subscriber always does that. Yeah, fine. Yeah. No, I think, I think it, is, it is cashable because it is, it is attached. The priority of that object is attached to that object. The object was created but, with it, it's it's yeah, sure. but it has, yeah, the, the, the object party has to apply to the group as well. So you need to backfill the group if you start speaking. So it would be like it wouldn't be object priority, it would be yeah, a back priority. The group priority is what you would be signaling in yeah. Yeah. Because if I start speaking in the middle of a minute gop, I need to make sure I deliver all the P frames beforehand. Even though I wasn't speaking back then, I still need to deliver them so I can show the ones that have me speaking. You, I mean, but but how do you go back and change? It's annoying, them? right? You you have to reprioritize repri the quick stream. <laughs> like actors, you, you, you do know that you do know that like minimum Microsoft Zoom, Teams, Teams, Zoom, Google Meet, WebEx all generate new iframes when we start doing. Uh, Discord doesn't. Discord actually does kind of. Like, yeah, yeah I, I, I understand. Like, I'm, I'm just saying <laughs> there there may be a reason why people did that. 
<laughs> yeah, we do simulcast if you want to change the resolution. Um, you know, that's, that's another way instead of making yeah. it right now. Yeah. So an iframe would effectively be a new goblin tree. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right. yeah. And that's and that that automatically gives you a priority. Yes, yeah, that, that gives you uh, any point to think. Well, if, if, if you think okay. you're going to send this with a group, but I mean, look, I'm I'm not a, like the, the type of solutions where you can change a group. I'm, I'm not. Like, I got no problem. Those so those could work too. If we have a good way. I think one thing, one thing also to keep in mind here is that again, prioritization is not going to solve problems. It's going to make things better. Yeah. The, 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 it's an optimization ultimately, right? Like if you have enough bandwidth, it will just make better. Time. It just makes some things worse, which is what you really want. Sure. So what, <laughs> what, I, what, I, what I mean to say yeah, here no, is, that, is that it is under conditions where, so so I don't think that we can map to everybody and everything perfectly, and that's okay. That's 100%, yeah. And it mostly matters for live. I mean, I know we're talking about VOD, but like, so it sounds we like you don't need to prioritize VOD. Okay, so like it like sounds like it, it, it does sound, but it does sound like group level priorities are still the right thing to do there. Is it not? Well, group, what he wants to do, if, if you want to go down the path of being able to do it at arbitrary boundaries, but what he also wants is to be able to change that retroactively to all the objects that you might still not have delivered in the group, you change, you're effectively changing it on the group. That's what you're doing. Yeah. You're not changing it on the object, you're changing it on the group. Yeah, objects are part of the one, one thing is, though, if, if, if in the middle of the group, you change the priority <laughs> for objects that were earlier in the group had already been received. That's what he wants to know. That does bring up the issue, Ian. That, now I understand why this is giving Ian the heebie-jeebies. I mean, this is going to have to go redo stuff in his queue. For Ian, yeah, like, well, no, but I don't think it's only the send buffer. So, like, honestly, there's not a whole lot in there. No, but I don't, I don't think that... Well, what if you TTL'd out, like, some of the earlier stuff already because you thought it was useless, and now you're like, now I need to so, deliver so because it's... I have, like, I, have, I have something to say about okay. that particular thing. This comes to the well, cancelable right. unit. I think that the TTL... A cancel of the unit and the stream have to map to each other. Yeah. 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 I think you've got science on your side on that. <laughs> you have science on your side. Yeah, you're right, right? Yeah. And we need to sort of we haven't been thinking about that. Yeah, I think that that if you if you do that, then you don't have this problem of TDLs being weird and funky. At least group boundaries, if you, if you can align group boundaries with stream, with stream boundaries with TDL. Yeah, then you get pretty idea. decent alignment, and then you get priorities as well aligned with that. Then you get a nice alignment across all of those four things. It's not going to be a perfect mapping, but it's one, yeah. and probably yeah. captures eighty percent of the use cases. Okay. So uh, yeah, I mean, so like, yeah. when you expire for well, use case, I guess it's again, like my use case, I'm only going to expire the golf if right, I have right. another one waiting. I don't want to expire my minute golf for this was late. There's a spike of congestion. You don't want to do one. I, I only wanted to say, uh, expire my current group if I have the next one I can download instead. Because I don't want to have a minute long golf and then I have a burst of one second of congestion or something. And I just expire and have to sit there waiting or have the POI. I actually want to like deliver that content. Who's you, your client? So, viewer. Viewer, like a user. Because you can actually download old data instead of just like sitting there with a black screen. I, I I mean, when when do you always set your? Yeah. I, I mean, when yeah. for, did you cheat that? When you always make sure that your expiry date was set at, at least yeah. two top sequences yeah. or something yeah. like that? Well, well, that's that's kind of always based on top sequences. It's only based on if I can already play yeah. for data. Like if I've already the next group, then I can expire the previous. Yeah. If I'm already the latest group, I don't want to expire anything. Yeah. We have a separate. We have a separate requirement in draft about keeping current group. Oh, right? That was the question. That was actually one of the first words. At one point, we just got latest group. Yeah, no, we do have some words somewhere in yeah, there. Yeah, right? latest group is special. Just, how does that interact with this? I forgot about that. Good catch. <laughs> <We're gone. laughs> so, anyone still going to back my realize I get here? So, I don't. I mean, if you if you had a yeah, the caching question is the question. So, where do we put this? Is the client, if it wants, why would you not send your TTL to be just infinite? Um, so at, at group boundaries, yeah, like, once we've already, let's say my jitter buffer is three million, yeah, which is the longest I will render a frame. It's like, yeah. three, 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 um, if I go beyond that, I'll be frozen, you know, like whatever, I won't render stuff, or it's be super old, maybe, but probably just frozen. Um, but you can burst the fast some network speed to catch up. Also, why do you want to expire these? You would only expire if you had the next group, and now your old data is not a dependency of the new data. 
and then you can expire it. So if it's a previous group, you can expire it. But it's the current group, I don't want to expire it because I can still catch up. Do you remember my presentation from Remind me which part of it. I actually don't. So, okay. uh, anyways, the important thing is like, you know, I do, I do, now I do, sorry. The optimal yes. thing yes. group you want to send is the newest, it's the oldest ones that you believe that you can still deliver on time. On time being, yeah, on time being. Which, which means like you really want to like the groups that are older, like you kind of want to expire them if you don't believe you have. Them. So is it better to hey, then, you don't want to just expire? Is it better to yeah, you know? Is, is it then better yeah. instead of saying TTL, just TTL is better than saving the clients? And that's effectively like that. Previous Does it delay? But I think that might actually be the better one. Yeah, the previous proposal from another one was based on the yeah. impact group. Or that's the public group. Yeah. Like no. Well, I think it comes back to the, how you cash it. What's that? I think it comes back to like, yeah. no, 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 but that, no, no, no. You can't stop. You can't stop. So like, the way that it's going to get to the top of the Yeah. So, something they probably should have to wait for like audio subsidies. Like, what is the unit of priority? No, that's fine. What I'm saying is that you get the control. Yeah. Yeah. When, yeah. You, when you tell the, okay. and that's going to be a period of time. I think that's a better way of doing this. I think, I think it is. Did you guys figure it out? It depends on how long something. Right. I mean, no, I got it. Wait, are we done? Are we, it's, it's, it's do we, do we go to the next slide? 300 milliseconds? Like, we're not that accurate anyway. You know, like one second, wait. Let me yeah. I think I, mean, I think we're getting some alignment here actually. Yeah. So I think the alignment that we That's might not be getting here is this. Um month of the sun and ice using That was like four complex. You won't be able to allow so groups are the units that you change you change the priority in a group priority level. at a group level. Uh that's what you want to be able to do. You want to be able to uh, potentially Reprioritize a group, but that's you know going to be best effort whenever it happens. It happens as a as a consequence of that. I think that you want to be able to map groups along screen boundaries. And we have at least we have that some of the time. Huh? I say we have that some of the time. What do you mean some of the time? Well, like you know, they very compromise and have mode. Go ahead and read it. Go ahead and keep on. And I'm also also, also, <laughs> also, <laughs> wanting, I'm also <laughs> wanting to say that I I'm also wanting to say that you want to be able to cancel. At group boundaries, yeah. because again that aligns with having them map to streams yeah. and cancel the streams and groups altogether. I have my peep slides ready. What's it? The peep slides are ready. The peep slides, but I think that's the alignment we're getting at. Is that is that groups groups even map on stream boundaries because they give you cancelable units, they give you priority. Sure. This is the problem, right? We don't have any problems. In sequence, general is the only problem here. And that is the one. That is the difference. The model scalability being the other one that doesn't work with this. Okay, so I see. All right, let's get started. So, what I think I heard is like for a while, for a while, people thought Luke was saying. So, originally, we were saying we were just going to have this is the correct slide. Publisher priorities. At the track level, like we were kind of converging on that, and Luke said, "Oh no, I need to change it when someone else is talking." And people interpreted that as, "I need like different priorities to every group." And we started like circling on that. And then it turns out, no, no, he just needs to be able to change the track priority mid mid track because like someone else is talking. And he need to backfill the current priority. right, yeah. which makes sense to me. So like, does anyone actually need uh, publisher priorities at the group or object granularity? So the answer no, no, he does not. That's the point. Well, just tell me what yeah. he needs. Tell me he what needs he needs to be able to change the track priority in the middle of the track. In the middle of a group. Part of the question is how is that? So that means that means the whole track priority changes instantaneously. All past objects and future objects for that track now have a new priority. You could always say that it's only future objects first, and in if you why don't we just say if it's future objects? Does that work? Well, it has to be the current group at least. I, I have a question. I have an easier solution. You can just subscribe to a track that's the current speaker track that tells you what the track name is of the current speaker. And then when you receive that's the a, new current that's speaker, a, that's you can refer that's that's the client that's a, well, that's a point solution for the current speaker, but they could give a scenario it would be slightly different and take something other scenario. Okay. Okay. And that, add, that adds more latency too. Okay, so I do not think that use case meets the thing Mo brought up. 
Mm-hmm. What's the thing about Rana? No, it does not break. I was going to say that's actually. Okay, wait, wait. wait. So, all right, so, let's talk about that. So, so the original question: Does anyone need actual group and object granularity for this? Because we were spinning our wheels on that, and like I don't, I don't know, think anyone wants that group granularity on what? On the publisher the priority. priority. The publisher says group four. It's something like that's what I think we need it. All the real yeah, communication. We need it. I gave it. I gave up on that. I give what up. do you mean? So, if you're pointing, so you had ascending and descending. Was that not? No, no. I gave it. No. I gave how conferences are built today. That's how they were. I don't know why. It's like I explained the entire correction. I think, I think, more. I think that the general sense here is that, and I'm going to say this, correct me if I'm wrong, is that group is the right granularity for priorities because if there's a new speaker, a sudden new speaker, et cetera, that is in new group. It starts with an iframe and that becomes a higher priority. It's just well, more of a new iframe. But that, that's okay. That's okay. That's yeah, not in your case. But you still want the group priority. So, so Mo argued for it, for objects inside of a group based on the standard VOD case, where you know you want to do your B frames lower priority than your P frame. Uh, no, go ahead. Typically, in the VOD, you just place the entire thing. If, if, if you if, miss a frame, you buffer. Yeah, I think in VOD, it's not. You, you, you don't skip frames in VOD. In real time, you don't really do B frames. Mostly priorities yeah, are that you no, no, the concept of scalability is yeah. just without a, 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 a backward prediction. It's, yeah. Really, yeah. it's still it's still by the prediction, but it's not backward prediction. But it's also I mean, is it it's also fair to say that for VOD your requirements are substantially weaker? I'm not worried about VOD. I'm, I'm, I'm more about. worried about for temporal scalability for real time is okay. very common. Okay. And okay. I don't know how to represent well unless we do like screen. <laughs> Let me just hit a few other things that summary heard. Okay. So the use case that Luke is saying he would like to reprioritize backwards in the group when it changes, like all the front. It does need to be retroactive. Right. And um I think that that then comes into the set of concerns Ian had about the computation that causes on uh, a high scale relay. Um, those are just, I'm just sort of summarizing the thing. What if it only went forward? So I don't know what that is. If you got it, you get it, you get a, a message which is like track priority update, and then any, yeah, any, any new object that arrives has that priority when it that's, that's, yeah. that's an I, approximation. I think I, yeah. I convinced myself I'm not that concerned about it, but okay. it still gives me like, it, 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 it seems like something that someone's going to shoot themselves in the foot. Can we start? Can we just start it saying let's not retroactive and see if we can work that first? So I yeah, I mean, I, I was going to say, it's fine to say that by default it's forward only, but we should say that it's not a bug if someone sure. implements it back. Yeah. Yeah. I All think right. that's reasonable. So, every, so I, I guess a lot of people want objects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure that's true. No, okay. So let, let me ask, does, does that, will that not work if it's if the priority is for the entire track and you can get a message that changes it for future objects on the track? Does that meet the meet use cases or is it? This is it track or? It does not meet the temporal scalability use case. It does That's meet. We're saying, we're not saying track, we're saying group. Yes. Oh no! Once again, like what, what's been written here, I think it applies to all the use cases here. Why? Why? Why is that? Why? Why do people think this does not solve the use case? I won't really want to figure out which. People, case people are scared of the complexity of that. Which, which part? Hang on. Not it's it's on thing. Yeah. Modes, yeah. We, until we figure out there's some stream modes or not, yeah, the complexity is there. Really, just the temporal scalability is stream mode. Okay. Apply to super complex. Sure. Even without them scalability, I'm not sure. Right, so, okay. so it sounds like we need to land this because people need their object level priorities. Like I, I really Does want them to have object level priorities. Unless you do stream for object. Oh, hang on, hang on. If you want to do this, use stream object. Like it's right there. Yeah, right? That's, oh, 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 okay. Yeah, this does not solve the temporal scalability one. Sorry. You can if, you you can if you're willing to do stream for object. I mean, you have to. That's how it works, right? Like you have to. Like if you want to do that crap, then like you need to pick the right boarding preference for the track. I mean, that's just how it is. And I'll point out you can't do the temporal scalability when the subscriber chooses the priority because we always deliver an ascending object ID. So this would only be when the subscriber doesn't choose. Then you could do. Oh yeah, yeah, arbitrary. That's, that's fine. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's totally. fine. Agree. Yeah. That's a great point. Yeah. Okay. That's that's very weird. Okay. So does yeah. someone think this is a bad yeah. idea? What? Let's the thing on the slide. This is a good idea. All right, if no one thinks this is a bad idea, then I think we should do a PR and then we can fight about it some more. It's about what's in the draft right now, but we just okay. made it up. Great. Okay. We can move a bunch of text. This is the top one. Talks about how we don't have so to. So, wait, I mean, I, 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 I don't know what we're saying. 
Let me let me take, say read this. Read it. And no, I think that question. I don't know what that says. This is a terrifying question. Other than well, why does it suck? So <laughs> <laughs> my focus is why sucks more than you suck. I can, I can ask I can ask the clarifying question why. <laughs> Hang on. So I, I, I want to say this because we are seeing that there are three different use cases potentially, and we don't need to lay them all out. Uh -huh. There are three different cases that we are allowing, right? Yep. And and the thing that this slide is doing is it's it's going it, it, the question there is is publisher priority bus track or group or object, and then it says what. It uh, basically says that the, it talks about the mapping the the priority is per, it's really per forwarding preference, which means per stream. If you read what this says, that's what it says. That's so that's what I'm saying is it's mapping to stream at the same time as talking about priority. Well, we already did the stream mapping somewhere else. Yeah, that's already a thing about me. Okay, well, <laughs> you should have leaked the party show that. No, 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 it's, 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 it's fine. I, I apologize for that. <laughs> <laughs> but but I think what we're saying is there's three ways of yeah, there's, there's, <laughs> One day you'll understand what that means. We, we, have, we already have an object send. Oh, field, so oh that like, collapses this down to one bullet. Yes, but we're not there because yet. Because yes, I'm going to just try understand this in my head. Yeah. Yeah. What we're saying is you this basically all of this is like you cannot change priorities on a peak. No, that no one's got yes. Yes. But okay, good. That's all. That's all. What, what this means is you cannot do it inside a stream, but as long as it, as long as something in this any unit that is in a stream can have its own individual priority. That's what this means. Any unit can have its own individual any, 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 any object, any blob that is in a stream that maps to a stream. That maps to a stream can have its own priority. That's fine. I mean, what we're saying is that any blobs map to that, that is how the draft is written right now. Yes. The the we're doing, we're doing things on stream boundaries. Oh, and there are, I like oh. that because it allows you to do cancellations yes. on that blob. Right. Okay. 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 Ship it. Next line. Ship it. All right. So someone's got someone's gonna write this PR. Or oh, it's gonna be part of the first. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, Next slide. I mean, there really is objects in how many slides are there? I think that this quickly leads into an easy one. There's there's about five more slides. Okay. There's no way you're so, getting all of them. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let's let's talk about how to encode. Do we can we talk about namespaces? And that's I think that's an important discussion to have. Wasn't that on there somewhere? We'll get to that one. But yeah, it, 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 uh, doing a part part on the last. Yes. Like part of Ian's something. Ian's going to get that into in the overall PR. Yeah. Okay. So um on the encode to work. So uh. Sorry. This is for the thing we were just talking about, okay, the original publisher priority. And um, it basically can, you know, there's two possible places you can consider putting this in the stream header at the beginning of every stream, because that's the only place it can change, right? See previous slide. And the uh, other place would be in the subscribe OK. Um, the subscribe OK, one of the significant problems in my mind about it is that. Uh, well, when the publisher consented is one, but the, the more relevant one is actually the subscribe OK allows arrives at the relay after the first packet. Remember, we, we've spent months discussing this whole night. Or it can. It can. It can. It can. It commonly does. How about, how about phrasing it that way, right? Yeah. And unfortunately, those first packets are some of the most important ones to not screw up the priority on. So it seems pretty important to have your priority straightened out on those packets. So I'm not, so my personal preference was I was like, hey, I didn't see any strong argument for not just putting this in the stream header versus putting it in the scribe okay. But if someone's got a strong argument for that, I, I just missed it and didn't didn't represent okay. it. The proposal yeah. is it should go in the stream header, which is where it is in the current document, and not in the subscribe okay. Does anybody want is that gonna break anybody? Raise your hand, it's gonna break you. Okay, Luke. How is it broken? So first off, concrete proposal, I think this goes in track info and you have like maybe a starting group number or something because you can update other track properties. Uh, you could update the order maybe or the... the, the but the how, if it's different per group... How, that only gives it how, for tracks, right? Not for groups. Yeah, you update, it's track properties, right? It's no, but, that's, but then the, you have requirements or use cases which require priorities to be expressed per group. For sure. How do you do that? But even before that, to what is it? when is the tracking for sent? Is it a confirm status? It, it, it is like kind of like subscribe okay. Um, but I'm I'm saying you would send it on update, like on a start of a subscription and on update. Um so it's, it's, it's just just for that because it might be a child blocked behind other control messages. Yeah, it might it might be blocked, in which case there might be an RTT where you don't need to know the publisher's priority and you just fall back to the whatever mechanism for a single RTT. 
Which but is you know, fine. You know, get, you know, you know, walk with, I mean, this, hold on, subscriber sends a track status request. Like, what, 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 the, yeah, and then the then the publisher can send a track status. Right now, we have subscribe OK, but I'm saying that you can send multiple subscribe OKs with an update. Okay, right? you're saying it's a control message. It's outside of the content. It's not in the object header at all, or in the stream yeah. header. For yep. the, it's on it's on a control stream. That's what you're saying. So just but, okay. I'm just gonna. I want to ask a question. How does that work? So you're saying every time you send a group that has a different priority, you would also send this message. Well, in 99% of cases, I don't think you would change the. So you, okay, so you think it's rare, so you would only yeah. send it in the rare case. You just send it once. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. A clarification, like maybe a point there in, in the question. That doesn't mean that you can't send it in the stream header. It just means, I mean, you could you could still take the track and go priority thing and like put it on every stream header. There's nothing theory. stopping you from doing it. Well, right now, so, yeah. So you can absolutely do it. Why not both? Well, no, no, no. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if you want one answer, right? The stream header does satisfy that problem yeah. as well. So I'd say stick with the stream header unless you have a good reason to not do that. That's, do, we that's it, one. do we have to put it in every stream header or can we? So the, that's a parameter. So the one question yeah, I'm not sure what the answer is. I think it's going to be in every stream header. You got yeah, to okay. yeah. Just do it in every stream header. Okay. It's easiest. The question I have here is do the when when the stream is established, is it always the case that a relay or anybody else will know what the publisher priority is before sending anything else. So I don't stream. think you open a stream until you have one to send something to send. That well, I mean, the, 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 you don't open a stream. This is why this is Colin's concern. If you have an, if you get an object and you have to forward it before you see the subscribe, okay, you, how will you know the priority? Yeah. So it's got to be in the object. It can also be in the track status if you want, I guess. But so, so the answer is that when you're opening a stream, you always know what the priority is. Yes. Yeah. No. When you're publishing data, data, I always know what the pub the publisher always knows. You should know the stream if you're stream on the data. Yeah. 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 So you have the data when you're when you're opening a stream. Right? Yes. yes. So I think I'd say put it in the stream header and then we will figure out. Okay. Is that a way? Yeah. Help us. What doing? What do you do when you're sending data grams? Don't send data grams next. No, that's data gram is a stream header. Data gram has everything. Data gram will carry everything. It's yeah. It's yeah. It's yeah. 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 Or we're audio to it, everything. We can find a lot of this. We're going to kill you. You're going to send it in every of your packets. Okay, so yeah. uh, so I, I I think we're lurching towards having no alternative than putting in the stream header. There seems to be some desire for like additional channels for that information or a compression feature. Or I, 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 I would rather see that on some kind of signaling channel than on the stream. Well, I mean, the colors explain why you can't do that. There's right. a race. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, there is a race. Wow. HR blocking too on control channels. What's the compression when you get out of doing that? So, so Christian, just clarify on that. Wait, is it because of like the compression of sending it on every audio packet that you want to put it on the that control stream? The, the, the compression of the audio packet and the fact that if you are doing group per uh, strip per group, you might not have a stream header to send for the next five seconds. Stream mm -hmm. notice. Meaning that limits how often oh, yeah, it limits your big That's yes. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. The oh, first thing you send on the stream is the stream header. But you see, yeah. wants to read it can never change. Right. So you can't change your mind in the middle of a. Can, can, can I propose an alternative? Yeah, but right. I mean, you will. That would be agreed upon in the previous. Yeah. Yeah. No, we, but that was the last slide. We decided yeah, we could do yeah, that. Can, can I propose an alternative? Yes, Okay. So this this takes us down a few things. This is something that's commonly done in WebRTC. Okay, and I'll, I'll get to it. And so we're going to we're going to need an extension mechanism to add optional headers to an object. You know that's coming somewhere along the way that a relay can read. Okay, or to, to, to an object or to a group or some type of thing. Okay, and so the common technique in, in WebRTC for stuff that you don't want to send all the time is you send it anytime you change, and then you periodically send it as well. So you'll be like, once a second, you throw the priority in the packet. And when you're receiving data, if you haven't, you know, if it's on if it's on the same stream, you assume it's the same priority as whatever you got on the last thing. And when you change it, of course, you send it, right? Or if it's, I guess, reliable, you know, like that sort of thing. I think we should right? just not worry about compression in the short Yes. Time. Yeah. So that, that's good. equivalent to, like, we say we put it in every object and we figure out a way to compress it out yes. later, right? Yes. It's easy to compress these things out. I mean, if you add well, sort of. I mean, I mean, 
Oh, you were going for you had a thing first. Oh, I was just gonna say Weber is not a great example because we Max. Weber C sends PLIs and Max over and over and over and over again because it's new if it arrived. We have a control channel, we can just send it to the right. So, so, so the problem is you don't know what other streams are gonna arrive. So like there, there's a bit of an issue with just like only you only stream update, uh, only stream headers that update the situation because then there's all these weird ordering problems. Because streams are not different streams are not going to arrive in order necessarily. Let me just throw, uh, let me retract that suggestion, and I'll bring it back six months from now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that was great, yeah. Victor. Yeah, I, I think one thing that would make it easier in like something I was going to ask is like, do we set any limit on how big priority space can be? We could, but that's also a compression issue. Well, it's, it's not um, only a compression three. issue. Well, I, like, I, if more, you make it four bit, it would be really painful to implement. That also means that we should not do that 64 bits. Okay, yeah. let's not argue about how many bits. Have we have a separate line? Do we have a separate So can you, can you go back for just a little bit? Go back there. Okay. 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 All right, so no, not this one. This, this one's already agreed. Next one. Next one. Oh, sorry. Right. Okay, so I, I think we came to the conclusion that we're just going to put it in the stream header. Yes. And like, and if we want to have a different channel for that data, someone write a different PR for that. Okay. Hashtag why not both. Who's got yeah. that PR? Which one? Uh, stream header is, is the main PR, right? Because it's already. Yeah, in. stream header, it'll be in the main PR. Yeah. Okay. So and you, who, 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 who gives the option of doing another one? If it's, the right? I mean, it's, it's already in the draft. Okay, cool. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next, there. We still need you know, to want, let, let's, okay. let's skip or ignore that slide. I okay. think that yep. I think we covered that already. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna skip yeah. that slide. Yeah. Yes. This is a hilarious you monster know. fire. If we want to discuss, no, we got it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to have an option in the what about end. Well, that proposal B is the bar end. Is this a question or something? No, no, no. It's it's in the bar end of the limit of Let me go to a couple of slides. Let's do this. Why don't we? We have limited time. We've got about 40 minutes. Why don't we look at the, all the topics and agree on what the next topic is? Oh, yeah. Okay. Great plan. Okay. So, um, okay. So, the priority value, the range of the priority value is basically how many bits they are and then how they sort of get mapped to things. I mean, this this is a topic we could talk a little bit about. And part of the frustration is it's, uh, you know, we got to decide what we're trying to work on top of and what, what it supports. Um, this one, I think, is probably pretty simple. Um, uh, and tracks with different namespaces is probably not is, is a little bit deeper, but I think we have a pretty good proposal here. Uh, I'm sure most people will disagree with it. <laughs> and the sign of good market result. We do this already, right? This is this is now do whatever relay. Yeah, we, no, we're done with this one. We do we did we did that one. Yeah, yeah. Wow. 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 The, the do the yeah. problem is what we decided and, and do whatever. Okay. So we got namespaces, original and order, and easy to result. Let's try to take the priorities take the easy one. Okay. Mm. And then namespaces, and then we can argue about this. The trash fire. That sounds like a good thing. Okay. okay. So um, so we have a, so this is about the ascending, descending group order. And right now, the subscriber has, there's, remember, we have the option for the subscriber to say what, whether they want um, ascending group IDs or descending group IDs. The question is, is, is there any use case for the publisher to say, whether it should be ascending group IDs or descending group IDs. And um, my view of this is, I mean, I see the group IDs go like they are, and the publisher can put whatever data it wants in the appropriate group ID. So effectively, it already has control over this. So I didn't think we needed it. We could certainly add it later if we did, but I just didn't see any use case that was driving this. Uh, and so okay, let's go. Okay, proposal no. You can only speak if you think the answer should be yes. <laughs> okay, Victor. Uh, I mean, we do because, like, publisher will either publish in ascending or descending, but then really, to really needs to know what order to send. It's the same way we propagate priorities for individual. Uh, you get explicit this, signal. I'll yeah. understand that. First file would be headline blocking if this is ascending. And on the relay, you always have my mind. I, 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 I'm sure you're right. I just, I just, my, my mind did not fully process that. Do it one more Ascending time. Ascending means headline blocking. And 
Making last mile the only one that's not head of line blocking and everything else is head of line blocking. You're sending he's head of line. What I'm saying is that ascending okay. he's he's the OBS first. First. So the, if OBS is sending, they're gonna send the oldest person group and never send the newest one. Basically the no descending would be newest. Okay, the oldest person. We should stop calling yeah. it ascending and descending probably. Yeah, so so yeah. which two oldest if oldest and default is oldest first, which means head of line blocking. Right. Yeah. It means the player is head of line blocking? No, or the player has who is head of line blocking. Oh, but I don't. I don't understand why every, every publisher, like every broadcaster, would be headline blocking. I think they're making the same point. By the way, yeah. basically what they're saying is that the publisher can have published in a certain order, but the relay is the point that has to buffer and send shit out. Yeah. So the relay doesn't know what the preferred order is. It cannot honor that. But, the, but relay would look, reflect uh, what uh, comes uh, in. Let me try to resolve it. Uh, the, 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 why is it to do, do exactly one thing? That's not necessarily the right thing at the relay. That's the, I, I thought that was the main question here. Like, what is the real use case for not to do the usual thing? The default is ascending. If you're uploading a bot, the default is ascending. What if I want my old system to be descending the entirety of it? Why? Uh, what because, case? That's, I mean, because, not, not understand because I'm trying to do live video and I want, like, I have a fairly short buffer and I want to give up on the whole. Mm. Like, yeah, it, okay. it's a, it's okay. a case I, I, I think this is really simple. I, I'm, yeah. I, I'm flipping the proposal. This is it's almost zero work to implement this yeah. given all the other stuff we have. I'm yeah. saying, let's just add. Let's, Anyone going to die? Yeah. Like this. No, but does it not go subscribe nice. okay or does it go in the stream header? <laughs> the same problem. Oh, that's easy because it's only one bit. Well, so is the part. This, this is like the. No, there's there's one thing that's very good about this is it definitely doesn't matter on the first object. It's only the second objects that you receive where it can possibly matter. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I'm fine with this in subscribe. Okay. Yeah, let's just put it in subscribe. Okay. Okay. So this this kind of falls in the same bucket of the uh, subscriber ascending descending thing, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you can't change your mind in the middle. Where you can. <laughs> uh, we might. I, yeah. I can service that ads. It's like <laughs> one page. Victor says. Oh. <laughs> no, well, no, I know why you're getting what what you to change it. Give me a track info. You have to add a new one. You say a track info, say, by the way, change the default order. I'm playing an ad, and I want you to do headline blocking. Like, make sure this ad gets through. Headline blocking mode enabled. Just call literally that. Any, anyone going to kill me? Order? Uh, well, uh, yeah. Listen, ship it. There isn't actually a track info message, but yeah. Or a new message. Uh, in in order instead of send order? So we just should say default is ascending. I think it's track info. Yeah, Mr. Okay. okay. There's a message called there's a message called track. We that, don't have uh, track info track 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 track. which is called, which is generated by a client stack tracks has request. It's not okay. something you push. If, if we, that's yes. the problem. It doesn't work. Like I don't see. You need a new is. message. If you subscribe to the namespace, there's a track info. Or you just wrap it. It's clear that we need a message from the publisher. Of the server to the client saying that there is something that's changed on this. Yes, time. just say a new message. It's yeah. fine. I, I propose call it subscribe re okay. Subscribe re okay. <laughs> oh, like subscribe okay up here. Just add a K. But and then if, <laughs> if the receiver likes okay. it, they give you a subscribe okay update. Okay. Okay. I can okay. eventually get an error. You say subscribe okay update error. So what's the decision? Then yeah. you say subscribe okay update okay. Then. I, actually, I don't. I don't see how this track info. I, I don't think this works. I mean, what it fans out. You you can. I mean, this is a DDoS. Like, Ooh. there's scary shit on this. Like, this is not a good direction for me. I don't think we're. Yeah. You just talk to subscribe. Do you really need this anywhere other than subscribe okay? Uh, track no. Okay. Well, I mean, about, we, do, you, we do need it for track info or oh, track status because you need a, like an equivalent of a Oh, yeah, that's a pull. That's a pull. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, yeah. I, I, we can talk about pushing track status later. Yeah, we don't need it. Right okay, now. Okay, so that's, that's there, there and there is no push to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think we should do lightning round more often. We're this is good. Good. Like, this good. Like, people thumbs up. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do this slide before getting one fire. Can you please call it group order, not send order? Yeah, I call it group order. Yes. 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 Where I said color approved. Well, yes. Original yeah. publisher group order. Yeah. order. <laughs> yes. We already have a send order. We're deleting it. We oh, yeah. we, yeah. uh, uh, it's not so we killed the right. So now we have namespaces and priority values. Okay. Where next? Then names fifteen minutes. One, one more question. Don't I have suggested instead of ascending and descending to 
Yeah. Earliest person, newest first. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Okay. Oldest, oldest, oldest first, newest first. Yes. Bike color. color. Would you be okay with with smallest and largest? Yes. No. Numbers. No, no, no. It's not small or large. Small again is like small of what is a group ID time. Yeah, small time large series. Going to the numbers. Right. How you write it? Ascending. Oh, then, then yes, smallest. Smallest order. Largest order. ID to lowest ID. We are, we are, yeah. I'll be using all of this as an approach. Ascending and descending is a, they're more accurate terms. Like, I like to be because I like to be cool. Yeah, fine. You can use the something we're going to use it as a dry It's a posting group. Group ID is actually sort of sequence. It's like plus one in theory. And that's not play out time? No. Yes. Good luck said should be right. If you have constant top sizes, it will be, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, we just don't like it. PR owners, the direction of the order. Uh, okay. Who's doing this PR? Is it or somebody else? Really? I can help. It's, 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 okay, it's like Ian yeah, and yeah, Sue Hawks. So I propose, like, can we not, yes, like I said, this in real time? No, like, we, we can argue about this in the future. Okay. 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 They will not be able to resolve. Others we can resolve. Next so, slide. What's fairness, I think, is what we decided to do now. No, we've done this. Name space. Yes. Okay, so let me just, like, Patricia Port Toss is here and try to explain this for a second. Um, so, uh, bear with me and give me some benefit of the doubt that I might not have this totally wrong. For, okay, so, wrong. So, we, 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 we obviously have the problem that you could have uh, the receiving over the same, you know, we have situations where you're subscribed to two different namespaces uh, or, or to tracks in two different namespaces. And there's a couple things that can happen here. Um, in some of those use cases, the priority, the publisher priority values are going to be coordinated between those two namespaces because they're deeply related in some way. But there was arguments made, uh, Ted Hardy brought up the use case long ago of like an outsourced translation service um, or something like that where it was, it, it wouldn't be coordinated. Now, I don't believe in those use cases. I think that all of those use cases will be coordinated because of, of that, but I'm trying to address that anyway. Now, so I think that there's a couple things that I wanted to observe that we can do here. So a given client that's dealing with this type of situation, like a client that's going to be, you know, playing a YouTube video inside of a Zoom conference or something like that, it has a couple things it could choose to do to make this problem totally go away. One, it could make two connections out and do the subscriptions to one namespace on one and the subscriptions on the other namespace to the other. That would be one solution. I do not want to say every different namespace, you know, if it's different namespaces must be on different connections, because I think there's a bunch of use cases where you're going to have a bunch of namespaces in one application and you want them on the same. The, so that's one avenue of attack is two connections. The other avenue of attack that's probably pretty realistic in a bunch of cases is Remember, the subscriber priorities totally override whatever the publisher priorities are. Exactly. So if you are an end client and you, you're you subscribed oh, to YouTube good. and Zoom and you know what you want to do, you want your YouTube yeah. over your Zoom because really like watching dog videos is way more fun than your boss. Like, just go do that. Mm -hmm. right? Like, like you know, you can you can send subscribe priorities on all of these and you override it. So I think we're getting into a pretty fringy set of use cases where you don't have any of those things happening. And the and the priorities are they're numbers that make absolutely no sense. And in that wacky case, it's just going to be a race to the bottom. The bottom is zero. You get there real quick, um, and like it just doesn't matter. So um, let's start with clarifying first, and then we'll jump into the deeper deeper okay. problems with this. So let me just summarize. The proposal is. If you're so the, proposal is, is, the yeah. proposal is we don't actually need to do crap in the draft for the most part. We have to give a little bit of advice that says this nasty problem can happen to you. There's two possible ways of mitigating it. Have fun. Okay. Does anyone have any clarifying and questions on this proposal? <laughs> I'm just Luke sells his hand for clarifying. Clarifying? Why are you so clarifying? How do you prioritize two connections? Okay, and by choosing the connections, you're saying you don't want fair share. Right, effectively. So that's, I mean, that's fair share. Yeah. So yeah, that's fair. Like, that's shit. That's shit. That's shit. <laughs> the world, the world is connection. imperfect as it is. If people believe, if people ever believe that two congestion controllers operate nicely with uh, each other, 
Go have a look at some traces. Yeah. yeah. Before. Okay. Thomas and number two, it work. It number doesn't. Two. <laughs> number two. If you I have, got like, it off. Let's say you have like twenty people on conference call. How do you deal with different client versions? Because you assume they all agree in a prioritization scheme. But what happens when you change it? Yeah. So, yeah, so, so I mean, the the problem problem the when they say scope or single connection. Yeah. Well, it's not with this. No, it's right, not. Right. It's not. The relay has n connections to like all these end publishers and one subscriber. So, so no, right? every, he's got a really real question, okay? And this happens all the time. Well, your old clients only support H.264 and your new clients only speak to H.265. How do you deal with that? And like, basically, you have oh, version I... tracks. Wait, if so you so change good. something in your tracks that don't work between versions of clients, you version your tracks. It's like what everybody does. That's always the case with anything to do with security too. Or you, or you do something in your intermediate relay that just rewrites all the numbers. Transcorder. Yeah, 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 you make a transcorder. You don't understand the proposal. Fix it up. I don't know. Mike Scott. Yeah. First bit. I I I agree with the with the last bit, which is do nothing. I don't. Mike has something to say. Yeah. I I think that we should write up these as considerations and have the considerations in the draft. But no, no, unless there's some like glaring horrible horrible thing. Nice it sounds like me. I'd, agree. I'd like to sandbox namespaces so they don't mess with each other's priorities. So how would, that, also okay with how would that change the, over the algorithm from slide one for you? Like, well, slide one, basically, if it's two different namespaces, you you don't use the publisher card and you actually just treat them as separate. And they're like separate. separate so, okay, so you, essentially then you would like, you would yeah, round, robin, around you round robin. You round robin around namespaces yeah. and then run the algorithms. It. That's super complicated. But yeah, it's not. It you know, doesn't that, that change the same result. So it's not what you want this study as a as a as a, as a subscriber. Well, a subscriber, you can override that. Okay, so Victor and Sean are going to be next. Okay, Victor, go. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I agree with the conclusion of do nothing. Great. In, in, <laughs> it seems like <laughs> practical <laughs> scenario where it's. A, Happens where it's just like you have relay to relay, you just have multiple customers and like do not have any reason to agree. Uh, and you could do something, or you could do round robin, which is actually easier for us because uh, it turns out that's what transport API. Yeah, that's the standard how you make I, I, I think I th and so we've been very careful to make sure that relay to relay traffic's actually out of scope for this working group at some yeah. level. And part of the reason is what the relays are going to, which traffic the relays are going to prioritize across their content distribution network is not going to align with these priorities. There's one option that might be better than two connections, by the way, which is plus two web transport sessions in the same connection. Only if you're not doing rock quick. Sorry, you can't propose that. Sorry, okay, not really, but there was some. I think John is next. <laughs> okay, so I, I I'd say that here. Now we're again the the the. the Groups. The goal, the goal here for us is to come up with something that works and doesn't necessarily have to cover everything. But you want to find the main set of things that don't prevent other things from happening. I think we've got that. Uh, I think Alan's right. That a client that knows that this is happening is absolutely able to affect change, and yes, yeah. it's only it's only applicable in the case that a client actually is doing something funny, something unusual, something. And in those cases, the client is going to have you're going to have to do a bunch of stuff with the client as well. So. Relay to relay or client to relay, it doesn't matter. In these cases, you know what you're doing. So go ahead and use the mechanisms that you have to do what you want to do. Otherwise, again, I think doing nothing is. So, so I'm hearing consensus if there's no normative language. Yep. If we want to do formal considerations, great. Right? So, yeah. Okay, because yeah. everyone think that's bad. All right, let's move on. If someone, someone's got the action item, turn that in this stuff. Uh, do you think? I, I was going to say, do you want it? Sure. Like you I think I'm more like the way you're talking about. Relays, relays are going to have sandbox. I, mean, I don't care. I think, but whatever. Yeah. So, so Mike, Mike, I think Colin and Mike have it. Colin, Colin, Mike. Colin yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mo. Okay. All right. Uh, on to on to uh, bit gazing. Bit gazing. Last one. Yes. Looks like it's I want. I want. I want a 128 bit variant. So I two points. I would like. To this is strings, like natural language oh, strings okay. that have to be Why the fuck not? I think the most describe it. No, 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 no. Sorry. I was asking. This is really important. Is what you what was here. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say the chat. <laughs> okay. What, what people are arguing already about what? What do you want to know, Mom? Um, 
I asked Lucas earlier, did he think that we should have a design that somehow dovetails with H3's design? Because if we coexist the same connection or, you know, what what should we do more recently work with simultaneous H3 traffic, which every one of these mock apps is going to have? Lucas is still here. You can't coexist with Lucas. Lucas is not here. He's still awake. I mean, you, you stand right. Lucas, so, are you there? Lucas Pardue. Yep, yeah, I'm here. And I guess the flip side for us is why do we think we need something more? Do we, I see that somebody said that eight is not enough. I don't really know. I mean, so, so we just woke Lucas up. Do you have a, do you have a question for him? We summoned what we summoned a while, <laughs> Lucas. I mean, uh, uh, I'll say eight, eight was good enough for HTTP. <laughs> Because any more than that becomes really complicated for anyone to get their head around. You know, they have different classes. Remember. He's gone with us. We have different classes of you know customer. It sounds like people doing mock stuff might be more advanced and that they might want some more levels. Um, I think some of that needs to be considered. But but specifically for for the implementation that I own, um, the the priority level that we we use in quick land is is like a, a U, uh, U8. So, sorry, it's late. I can't do the maths. But it's more than eight levels, right? It's 256 or whatever. Yes. Um, and actually, we do make use of that. Why? Uh, we have control data that we want to make sure is always going to be sent above any um, request or response data. So, you know, we've got QPAC. We haven't talked about control stream prior either. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, that's subtle. Um, um, I also, uh, we, we actually have more in mock. Even there's more than just the bits in the actual field because because of the ascending, descending, and all the other signals. Um, there's also the group ID and the object ID, which are effectively also part of the prioritization, which HTTP does not have. Right? Okay. HTTP doesn't have that information. So we're saying, like, if you say. I want yep. this track at priority one, but I want it in descending order. And then, the, like, it tells and the I want service to expire here, which is sort of a bunch more information than just so you can try to. I mean, I don't know. My okay. better proposal is like start with three bits and then, like wait till someone screams and then make four. But there's a different, okay. okay. So I, I, th I think the people who scream over the three bits are, were like, remember, okay. we were saying earlier that if, if the priorities are the same, the relay does whatever it's going to do. Maybe a round robin. God only knows what it does. So if you've got 10 video streams on your screen, like we got right here, and you don't want to have the relay do whatever it feels like, you need at least 10 different values. That's Thank That you. was the art. That's okay. the gist of the argument. Fair enough. Okay, I got that it. may or may not be true, but it's another, another, another story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. YouTube, the standard um, transcode list, I think, is like 16 qualities now or something. So unfortunately, I maybe it's even. And some of them maybe are like kind of comparable because like, maybe one's vp9 h264 but like okay. i think it's unfortunately we definitely transport to more to, more than eight for like everything all right yeah. but uh, less know. than 255. 16 i've got you guys you can take <laughs> your hands out uh, but, but I, I, wanted, I wanted to clarify like we 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 map the h3 layer that we have into the quick space that we have and it kind of sits in the middle and there's room above it and below it to prioritize various other things. So something we do is boost uh, HP header priorities above all others. Um, so they go like outside the range that HTTP would allow to make sure that they get flushed so we can you know, hit some metric there. And that works pretty well. Um, and, and the code is just like, we have this urgency thing and it's a U8. If that increased to a U16 or U32, I, my implementation wouldn't need to change other than the mapping and the selection of values. Like the rest of the code is all there and the priority key would just work fine. Like it would be really easy to expand that range. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask a clarifying question about your HTTP implementation. When you say the headers, do you mean the QPAC encoder stream? Or do you mean like the first chunk of the stream while it still has headers on it? The, we don't really do QPAC. Yet, and, yeah, but, yeah, right. But, 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 but you, but, you but are you changing the you're changing the priority of the stream after you send the headers? Is what you're saying? What? We, yeah, the the, the yeah. way we have it is a a writable stream iterator, so that you know the transport is is managing all of that because it manages whether things have flow control, congestion, yeah, yeah. etc. Okay. So it, I, may have, I may have gone way off topic, so I'm going to talk to you about it offline. Okay. Yeah. Uh,
Okay, I'm sure. in the, the end. Did you go? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I said sure. thing. But okay. the, oh, I should also walk that back uh, and say, like, if you only give me eight levels, I could probably kind of make work. Great, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> like, so like, like I think like, it'd probably be fine, actually. I, what was the reason I want like a bigger number is, uh, as I mentioned, like in order to things to behave well, I want to be like to give a number to all of the tracks I have, and. I'm, definitely have more than eight tracks. Uh, the reason I want to have a smaller number now is because I'm going to take all of those numbers and like bit shift them and put them into one big number. Uh, and I hope and like I would bit shift like subscriber, publisher, group number, project number. Uh, I would like up to fit it into 63 bits. So, yeah. Hey, uh, Donna. <laughs> so I remember back in the day arguing for two bits because I, I I I said that four four priorities are four four priorities are more than this has been my experience that four priorities are more than enough and uh, I'm not going to argue for that here and 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 the reasoning is this priorities are relative right we said that right from the beginning but we have to remember that here too a publisher when a publisher says this group has priority X what is it relative to it's related to the things that are in flight. In flight from a publisher's perspective is a pretty wide thing because you have relays that are buffering for multiple seconds potentially. Does that all count as in flight? It's not clear to me how the mapping works here. So if, if I'm a publisher and if I'm trying to decide how to, like I've, I've generated a, a, an object or something that I need to send out, how do I mark it? If, it, if it's a track level, what are the tracks that I would consider outstanding? <laughs> all the tracks that I'm publishing, everything up to the cache time now. So then that creates a pretty large window yeah. through which I have to prioritize objects, right? Or whatever it is that I'm doing. So I think that we have to be mindful of the fact that there are relays in place here. And what you're what you're expressing here is not just on the wire priority, which is what HTTP does right now. Remember that in HTTP, we make a bunch of decisions out oh. of uh, like, you know, before putting things on the wire, but the priorities we talk about are literally for things that are on the wire. And in this case, because there are relays, because there are things that are buffering your data, that has to be considered in flight as well. So we have to think about how much. Yeah. So I don't have an answer to this, but you know, it certainly seems to me that in transit, again, I think that four priorities should be more than enough because anything beyond that is a joke. <laughs> you just don't have the granularity to send anything more than that. But um, but from a publisher's perspective, you have a lot of things out in the field that you have to uh, be able to convey the priority on. Uh, oh, uh, we have uh, 13 minutes remaining in this segment. Interim. Well, no, <laughs> well, we have the well 13 minutes is definitely an argument for 62. 13. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like that. It didn't, wasn't saying they use 32 so you can. I'm sticking it in a 64 in that room. Can we go rapid fire through whoever's left. Okay, okay. Uh, it's Luke, Suhas, and Khan right now. Okay. Yeah, uh, just uh, it should be make the maximum number of subscriptions. So however many you think you can have. Uh, honestly, a byte's probably enough. Um, two bytes probably enough too. So if you do bit packing, it's just bit packing. Unfortunately, doesn't really do the order correctly. I mean, you mean like tr concurrent tracks in play on a connection? I got you. Concurrent, Victor. yes. Victor, I got tracks you. and a connection. When you do relay to relay, then like a byte's not quite enough. But like you know, you don't want strict prioritization either. So I don't know much to do. Really, really, you said should yeah. not send yeah. anyway. So I was just for my two Uh I, I do think like if you can, uh, like uh, going back to the DSCP thing that we talked about yesterday, we don't have discussed that. Right? We are only on on in transit. You can only few things you can set to me really make a difference or not. Um, and most of the implementations that we have, we can. The first one sixty three uh, values is more than. Any application that we could think of, I'm not. That, that's the second op option. I, I don't even know how to use so many values. Uh, then, like, if you're picking this number, that would be my. If you don't have two proposals, that part would be my proposal. Yeah. Um, uh, the honest point, I, I totally agree. People seldom need as many priorities as they think they have. I've learned. I've also learned that it's really hard to convince them of that. So, <laughs> I think that we should go with a number that is 
large enough we don't run into that problem which is like at least is basically a bite in that sort of range you know maybe it's 63 or maybe it's 255 but something like that 63 is only there because that's the most we can put in a single bite easily in this protocol so um, no, 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 we bite. can make it not a varnish and then you get 256. yeah you get a one bite. No, you, I mean, you're so right sorry i said that let's keep going um, <laughs> so, now on the upper, so that's the lower bound of what number I think we should choose. On the upper bound of what we think we should choose, I think everyone's going to want to do pretty much uh, what Victor was talking about of, of sliding these bytes together. And they're probably going to want those to be less than 64 bits. So I think we have an upper bound of 32 bits max on this, and maybe even smaller graphics than that. Probably so smaller. I think we're sort of in that range. I, I, I that leaves me just be like, ah, let's go with basically a byte. Okay, yeah. proposal is, okay, raise your hand if you cannot live with, it's a bite. Uh, it's a bite. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe I'm missing something, I mean, it's entirely possible that I am, but I'm trying to understand this. So how, as a publisher, when you're putting out a priority, how do you decide what priority to put on a particular so, so, The hardest part is capturing the signal. Can, uh, I can it's also you. principle. I can tell you that. The bite, no, no. The, <laughs> I can tell you what. The bite gives you a least streams that is effectively ordered yes okay correct in that list of stream you're going to take a window yeah and that's the question I'm asking. And so below the window is stuff that is not going to work because you know that you don't have enough capacity above the window is the stuff that you are sure is going to work because it's well inside the capacity yes and in the window are the stuff that we may or may not send yes so basically you need one value of zero or one for the stuff that you're sure to send a couple of value for the thing that are on the edges depending of how the edge moves and that's it but 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 again the window itself here my question is if you're thinking about time if you no, of course if you think of publisher to relay yes it makes sense but the relay is potentially going to buffer and keep those things around for a while longer for clients for subscribers to come and fetch them right the things there are also limited by how many objects fit in a group because you already know the objects objects in a group have to go in order and you've already determined the order of your groups it's really maybe, it's a, maybe, it's, maybe i'm missing something I, I think of it a little bit differently i think of it as i got an application and i got a design and i've got a user experience i'm trying to achieve i'm really thinking about that way i'm not thinking about what's going to the network whether it's not bandwidth or anything or not and i'm just going to go through and figure out how all my things are mapping to different tracks and and how i'm doing forward error correction and recovery into various things. And then I'm going to try and order those all in sequence on a whiteboard. And I'll probably get it wrong the first three times. Oh, okay. So and then I'm going to make hard code that into my application in some sequential order and call it a day. Maybe the thing I'm thinking about is that things that you're prioritizing are things that are going to persist yes. for a period of time, right? Yes. That's the only way it makes sense. Yes. Yeah. And in that case, yes, I completely agree. So, so if you have a finite number of things, and the question is how many things are you to persist over a period of time and that's the number here yeah. because the reason i'm saying that is because it's different from the hdb view of priorities oh totally so totally so and, and, and so yeah. two bits may not be enough for this is what i'm trying to say two because two two you're, you're, you're trying to express a number of tracks for example if you had to map that to dscp codes to the oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah. 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 For that, yes. But if you're trying to express the total number of tracks. Can someone clarify why? I've heard multiple times we need more than HTTP. Can someone clarify why we think we have more needs than HTTP? I think the answer the resources, is the it's not about what's outstanding. I think the answer is, is since what your this number does is it ranks tracks relative yes. to each other. It needs to be at least as big as you. I mean, having it as big as as many tracks as you're going to have in flight at one time makes sense. No, can I explain? It's not really no, but, but, I mean, they should be analog because you can have a thousand resources for one page at a time. You don't have a thousand priorities. But I think, I think, I think he's right. I mean, you can also, basically what you do is everybody's default, if you unless you're somebody's important yes. and they become important. HTTP wants to round robin and, and this um, may not. Can I? We have there. seven minutes. In yeah. HTTP, this is the way it works. HTTP, you can work as much as setup, but okay, is there what is there like an equal value, like progressive JPEGs? You can just throw a drop them, and that's, that doesn't matter. Uh, in a lot of cases, 
that does matter and they are like you can only process one at a time and because you you usually request and then like dependency order because the way ptp works is like you will be okay. emails and it looks like it looks like success but HTTP also has an incremental flag, which is false by default. And what that will do is that the server will implicitly assign priority to roles, and so you don't need to do that randomly yeah, to cool. order roles. You implicitly get it. Uh, uh, here, here, yeah. here we can't like really like order tracks and so yeah, order that would be bad. Even if you ignore a page with any images, any yeah. JPEG images whatsoever, there's still going to be tons more resources in that page. And a typical mock subscriber is going to have tracks. Right? So here's the thing: like that, that, you're saying that. There's an implicit prioritization in HTTP, which is e at least as big as the number of requests you make. Because if you gave every the default, if you okay, made a hundred requests, they actually have a hundred different priorities because they, the order of stream creation is the default sort order if they have equal priority and not decrement at all. Or what you could do is is slap all the requests for the same priority, and the exceptional one gets prioritized higher. So that's one way of doing it as well. If you want, if you want to use two bits, then that's that be the right way to do it. What do you want, Lucas? Oh, Lucas, I'm sorry. Uh, Alan, you covered the point. Like, yeah, it's it's the priority plus <laughs> the stream ID. The the stream ID is an indication of the client's ordering, and yeah, you, you have as many levels as streams effectively, and it's fine. Uh, this is different because you're going to have a publisher pushing down, but. My understanding is like you would just do it FIFO order. So, like, but I, again, I, this is all manageable. You could add send orders, another variant. Like, I've implemented that in the thing and it's really easy. And the, the whole priority queue just deals with it with like not much code. So, we have five minutes to converge on this. And, and, and in fact, I, I personally believe it's probably completely okay to have. A bunch of track at the same priority level and do on both yeah. in practice. Okay. Only the government situation. Okay. Right? Yeah. okay. So Luke made a drawing and probably was. Oh, I just wanted to do quickly. This is what I implemented with the bit packing. Uh, subscriber priority, it helps if it's small, if it's a byte. And then you have another byte for publisher priority. Ascending or descending is flipping a, basically the minus sign, effectively. Uh, and then you have the group ID. The problem is the group ID is huge, so it's really actually hard to do bit packing right now. So this is really easy because you just call screen dot set priority and then you're done. I see. That's effectively what I, I think what Victor was talking about also. Like, yeah, you know, like take Victor. all the inputs and put them into a number and then set it. And then that's your your index of the priority queue. I think uh, the, so are you arguing the eight bits? Uh yeah. Yeah, I think okay. All right. Thank you very much your question. question. The, the problem is group ideas of aren't and most quick libraries actually only take a U32 for priority. Um, okay. Hold on. No, UH. 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 I do, I, I do think that some hands go take a UH. To avoid the UH. Yeah. John is next up. But you have to begin. John. To avoid future pain, I think it would be useful. So the thing is that if the larger larger the bit space you give people, the way the way the interpretations of how to use this, you yeah. find. <laughs> so so I think it's useful to actually say that if you're going to do eight bits, that's a fucking fuckload of space to do so all you kinds of things. Think sixty-three is better. I think sixty-three is better. I think, like I said, I think, I think, uh, I think three bits is great. Um, but, but I think that you should also specify how a an encoding of this yes. should appear, meaning that uh, translation from intent to encoding is useful here. So if you say that. Uh, for example, if you're pushing tracks out, then then what what uh, and saying earlier, which is which is like you know by only prioritize only mark the things that you really care about as higher priority, and if you suddenly realize that oh I mark that as higher priority now I have something else right. that is even higher priority, okay. that's how you should be thinking about priorities rather than work. rather than having you know, so, so, like, okay. that we don't have time. No, no, but this is critical to this. Like this is critical to understand. We so, made fine. a decision earlier today that said. If you mark two things the same, you're screwed. Okay, that was a decision we made earlier today, and it deeply impacts this priority conversation. You cannot have one Yeah, I don't make it No, you want control behavior. No, we said we said that the most likely behavior is if there isn't enough quote enough bandwidth. You should back and just leave. No, I do some admin stuff. I think that if you do, you do control the scheduling of those on the wire. But I think that the common case is that you wouldn't necessarily have if you when you have more information, you bump somebody up. Okay. Otherwise, you say. All right. I, I'm yeah. gonna, all right. 
Uh, I'm putting a bite in the PR anyway. Like, we're, 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 like, we're, we're, really it, <laughs> yeah. We also open it up. One second. One second. One second. One second. Okay. You said you're gonna the PR. Did you want to put? Are you gonna put a bite? I'm gonna put a bite in there and then like two fifty six or sixty three. Two fifty six. Whatever. Okay. Do you have what you need to do a PR? Sure. It's okay. all right. We can, we can, you can. You can fight it. <laughs> I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting it. I'm just saying that there's some pain here that's coming. I agree. Yep. So, totally. Sure. Okay. Well, if you're not gonna fight it, then we're done. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. So um, first of all, thanks to our scribes, Bo, for the chocolate. Did you hear it again? Um, please consider. So we're going to have two oh, virtual interrupts. Do I get chocolate? You give it to Bo. All right. Oh, so I'm relaying it. You're relaying. What's so, the priority? Uh, so so we, we, have, we, have two, um, we have two. We have two. We have two scheduling items to talk about. The first one is our next hybrid interim. The proposal that we've uh, that we've been discussing informally is that is to do it in san francisco we, i'm sure we can find a venue on october 14th through 16th which happens to overlap with dmux which is good for people who go to dmux and we'd probably make a 60th in interop day because that really overlaps with dmux like on that day so we we might do a half day of interop or something on that wednesday but we'd have monday and tuesday as actual or the dates again Sorry. 14 and 15 october which are monday tuesday monday the tuesday What's that? Does Foms have a day? Foms is like a day before Dmux usually. Yeah, it's usually like adjacent to Dmux. October 14th. Do we have people going to Dmux also go to the Foms too? Yeah, Foms is on purpose right for the day before Dmux for okay. that. Okay, well then that doesn't work. In that case, we will not do it in San Francisco. Um, Wait, how many people go to that? The Foms for the browser stuff? Does anyone here go to that? I haven't done once. You want to go to that? That's the question. I really want to book uh, there, not yeah. here. I, I guess I would choose this. But... Yeah. I don't know. So, so we can play schedule polo and find another place, in which case we'll probably do the meeting in Boston for, for will reasons. Um, if we don't do it in San Francisco on the 14th and 15th. Same days? Not necessarily. No, the Boston would be in a different week. Definitely a different If this week. bombs thing is a deal breaker, we're going to do it in a different week. It's not a deal breaker. Okay. Yeah. All right. Does, 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 that, does that um can, can you can you I, call monday given your situation yeah, yeah um what about columbus day is that a problem what is columbus day the 14th of october it's a it's a national oh. holiday observed in some places some it's places indigenous people. People. yeah <laughs> yeah 14th yeah. is bomb 15th is hls interest what Martin Luther king day again okay. hls interest is that uh, exactly yeah. what i mean <laughs> right i mean will will probably be there I'm kidding well will's <laughs> well, may not really agree to, but he already said yes. The fourteenth and fifteenth is great. <laughs> I, I just everything was done so that Will can come there. Yes, the whole point of this if he will probably be there in the fifteenth for HLS interest. I think that's fine. We make sure Will's flights get in on fourteenth. You have a conflict. <laughs> so why did he not say that when we talked to him yesterday? <laughs> I, I don't have a problem with doing that. No, I, I, I can't tell right now whether any of these dates work for me. I can't get my calendar. Okay. Yeah, be clear. I don't have a problem with Columbus Day. I just kind of like. Yeah, we keep doing this. We can't like we can clearly can't get Google on like if I don't know if Google we're actually closed. Yeah. Oh, actually, we're not. Sorry, we're not. We're not. You're, you're going to be I'm like I remember the hassle for this one, so I'm like, yeah, we got to be cognizant of. It'll be hilarious if people are shutting down. This is not so close to the November meeting. Five six weeks. Exactly after, six, after the draft deadline. It, 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 it's, no, it weeks though. November. I, the I deadline will be the following week. You're right. Oh wait, it's the four. Ooh, yeah, early November. That's sad. Oh, it is. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, more, it's it's a, like a week before the draft deadline. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you, lightning round, you have to, you have to work a bit better. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we can go earlier, and uh, I, I think we want to do it in Boston. Then, if we if we did that, if we um, do, I'm sorry, if you did the like week Boston? of which, because it's closer, it's the it's easier for European people, Jordy, and although you're saying the week, Toronto before. and Chicago would be easier than Boston. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm, I'm not Boston saying it should be Boston. Boston. I'm just sort of, I'm just saying why. And that's all. It's in those locations. It's not as. It's, it's not. In, it's not. The other nice thing of Boston yeah. is we stumbled into the numbers. Why? It was a new yeah. one. Yeah. So wait. So are, are we? Are we? Are we now? Are we crapping on San Francisco because of the? It's too late. Proximity. Yeah. Um, okay, I think, but if we do any other time, I think Will can't come in person. <laughs> or like, I'd actually rather New York if we're going to do a non, like, a, if we're going to do any, because that's like the easiest to get to for everyone, like, in terms of flights. 
Yeah, New York, New York I mean, New York can just walk. And like that's that's New York is definitely easier to fly to than Boston for a lot. Yes, yeah, that's that's, that's, I'm, yeah. I'm, that works for me. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So, um, I mean, I, I can't get space there. Though, so, like, um, we have an office in New York. So if if you guys will we'll have to jump through the flaming India. <laughs> I don't know about that. Wait, so, we did have another New York. New York just I can actually look into Nokia. They have like brand new facility. In, uh, okay. In so, let, let, let's let's lightning round yeah, through uh, what late September then. Again, we're not doing San Francisco for what reason? Because people think it's too close to... Um, the, the proximity to that plus the possible will conflict for the HLS. The possibility of proximity to what? Uh, there's there's the actual ITF. It's, it's, it's three weeks for actual ITF. I see. In too much mock. Not enough time. So, okay, so so we're apparently saying New York City, so let me spit out some weeks. What about the week of 23 to 27 September? It's still pretty late. Uh, that's when we had the la la last year. It's, for it's, reminder, it's we had one. This one. The last one in Boston last year was on October third and fourth. Okay. So, okay. does anyone not like twenty three to twenty seven December on the east coast of the northeast? December, coast? September, September. All right. I'm going to tentatively say twenty four, twenty five, twenty six September. Mm -hmm. Together, see what's good. Still trying to get my calendar. East Coast, US. Yeah, uh, we're going to target New York City. Do you want me to check in? Too? Um, I will note that many travel companies, for a bunch of companies, New York City is on the boondoggle list and they can't go. I don't think that's an issue this month for Cisco, but it. Oh, because back hotel and prices are so expensive. Well, ironically, they're not more expensive than San than San Jose, which is never on the list. But so no one wants like to go to San Jose for like, fun. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, that argument is basically made, even though it's not true. I haven't yeah. heard that. But we have a giant office in New York, so like, yeah. It, so they it, can't make that argument. I mean, this 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 has been one of the yeah. ongoing things about having IT yeah, up in New York. Actually, is it just like tons of people said I can't? Just my company won't allow me to go to New York. Is that is it an actual problem for anybody? I don't that's know. It's here because this is pretty much the core participants, except for Will and Lucas and Lucas. But I, I mean, I, it doesn't sound like Lucas is going to fly regardless. Mm. I imagine. Um, Lucas, if you have any inclination to fly to the Northeast for this, let us know and we'll, we'll incorporate your wishes more carefully. I, I will say, going back to the Boston question, it, uh, getting travel approved for both of us is all going to become harder. <laughs> you know, getting travel approved for cruise after all. Um, I'm, I, I, guess I'm, harder I'm, I'm, I mean, we can make it work, but like New York work, but like there is some possibility um, either one or one or I can't go. <laughs> well, if it's in New York, it'd be both of us, right? That's the problem. Um, Whereas if we did in Boston, at least you and Victor would be here. Yeah, it'd be one less person. Um, I think it'll be fine, but I, I just I should clear it beforehand. All be right, one situation where like one of us is Boston a deal breaker for anybody? I know it's slightly there are fewer flights. Um, September seventeenth is definitely which we were you talking twenty four to twenty six September. Okay. So uh, I have to be on so the 24 to 26 yeah, of the, the TPAC WC meeting. So all the W3C people will be up. Who are the W3C people? I'm, I'm an AC rep. Will go? I don't think Will goes. Wait, is it is it multi day or just a particular day? It's multi day. That's the whole week. Yeah. Oh. And you have a line with that. What about October 1, 2, 3? Uh, let's go through. Yes, I was speaking at Cisco Activate. I can blow that off. That would be a good excuse. That would work. Sorry, what? Tuesday, October one, two, three. Um, sure. Same time we did the last time. Look, look, look I, I'm not. I, I would seriously think about blowing off TPAC too for this. Like this is more important to me than TPAC. But no, uh, I'm just wondering if it hits anyone else. But I guess not. We, finally enough, we did like. Cancel the web transport meeting for this way because of this working group. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm sorry, Colin. So, do you care whether it's 24, 26 September, October 1, 2, 3? I think I can make either of those. Okay. Why don't we slide back to 24, 26, where um, 
When do you think you'll have some clarity on our budget situation? Uh, it's soon. Okay. But you can, I mean, let's assume it will make it work, but look, it's, I mean, worst case scenario, it's New York, like, I'll, I'll improve your expenses and then I'll, like, eat the cost myself or something. It's like, okay, I'm going to train, train ticket for, like, 50 bucks. Check. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay, so are we, that is going to be the main thing. Yeah. And then uh, Victor get a bus around in. <laughs> And it can join more. Well, well, I guess we're the yeah. worst option is like I'll approve your expenses and then I'll stay in your house. Right. I mean, yeah, it's all or whatever. If, if you guys, I can, I, if, I'm, if I'm there, you're welcome to share my rights. Right. If you're coming, if coming through rally, please, you can come through. charity for support group. <laughs> <laughs> it's by the fast they finally share, share their wealth with Google and us other poor companies. <laughs> okay. We just charge you. All right. So, so it sounds like Boston is dead. We're going to do. Uh, we're going to assume that we can find an office in New York City. I wouldn't buy a plane ticket quite yet, but click, but block that out of your calendar. What makes me say again? 24 through 26 September, New York City. 26. Um, I can't, I can't check on. on uh, okay. Yeah. What? All right. So you do that. And um, if not, we can look in our, wait, you can't get our office? It's very difficult for people who are not in New York City to set up events in New York City okay. based on like the one time I tried to pull it off. Does anyone else have a set there, there that, that would be uh, useful? Uh, we Cisco has a very nice office. It'll be a total pain. It'll be more of a pain to ask to get into. I don't know whether we'll be able to get a room there or not, but I can ask. Um, we're talking about New York, right? Oh, no, Boston. No, New York City is what we're talking about. Okay, so we have a new office. I can find out a New York City. I don't think like we can we have anything. We have New Jersey. So I, where in New Jersey? <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where in New Jersey? Jersey City. City. Oh, no, Jersey City. But that's 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 on the path train. That's not a okay. I, I'm gonna, And I, it's close to the airport. We have a. Fast Avenue, New York office. I can find out if we have room or all of that together. Okay, so I've got Nokia, Cisco, and Fastly looking at options in the New York City area. And I'll 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 look at people other if it falls through for everyone else. I'm happy to like ask again. I mean, yeah, they could have. Could you get like Neil? What happened to the whole? That's I mean, if I could get yeah, like Neil or someone. Yeah. David David Ben is he in New York? Um, Chicago. Oh, yeah, right. here's a vibe. The food is awesome in Chicago. <laughs> uh, I think I think Sunday was the worst. Uh, well, the thing is, it's like you, 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 you don't need to put the nice side in the Pacific, it's like where it's tools and things like that. Same thing. Wait, why did we kill New York? We didn't kill New York. We didn't kill New York. We killed Boston because it's harder to fly there, I guess. New York is like Denver. Denver is no. No, Denver is annoying. Let's not do that again. Okay. That's the worst place for me to fly to. Yeah, I think it's so weird. Can you, do you have decent direct flights to Boston? No, I, I, I basically Boston is miserable. I generally have to do an overnight stay in Toronto to get to Boston. Okay. okay. Like I would much rather fly to London than Boston. <laughs> this is like the Denver thing for me. It was like, yeah. All right. But I mean, like, look, if we decide, like, whatever, I can, do go to Boston. It's not, yeah. it's not like it, but it's not a convenient location. Okay. For sure I mean, my, my, my other concern is that our situation continues to get worse. And it's just but how, worse. how are you guys are thinking of like going to San Francisco? The budget situation is that bad. Like you guys are like wanted to go some process. Well, that was for Will's benefit yeah, mainly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, then then I think I was saving think well and trying to learn if, if it was Thursday, Friday, maybe in San Francisco, but I will would say the weekend, but um, either with Denver. Yeah, Boston was like eight hundred dollars last time. Why don't we do New York unless I mean I'm okay with Chicago, Chicago, but I mean it doesn't really matter. Okay. All right, so Chicago. please block out twenty four to twenty six September. So if, if you're on the list to like ask for a venue in New York City, ask for a venue. We will try to confirm in the next two, we'll take like next two, three weeks to nail this down, and then we will finalize plans. You want to take three minutes to talk about the Vancouver agenda? I have nothing to say. No, 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 sorry, hey, well, We talked this morning about oh hey, well. We'll just join you. Oh my goodness. Hi, well, perfect. <laughs> so well, we came up with 24 to 26 September in New York City. Does that work for you? We can't hear you, but you can give us a thumbs up. I'll thumbs down. Yeah, if you can hear me. Mm -hmm. um, we can hear you. I, I, need, I need to check 24, 26. Let me look into that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the other thing, what was that HLS uh, thing? Are you going to HLS interest or farms? Do we have to make a choice between the two? 
Oh, they don't do Basically, from the same that's, day? they both conflict with that San Francisco date that we talked about. Yeah, they yeah. both the two days before the mugs. I would you probably want choose to... HLS interest over farms, probably. But or I'll try to get farms to move the date as well. Would you choose them over MOQ? <laughs> that's the question. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll choose. Well, I don't know. HLS is pretty important, and it only happens once okay. a year. So yeah, yeah right. I might, so I might choose so that. All right. So if that doesn't work for you, then right, that, that, that's why that's why we moved off the San Francisco idea. So I, I, I think we're looking at New York in, in that week of no of, of so don't buy a plane ticket yet, but block out your calendar. We'll confirm in no. the next three weeks or so. All Sounds right. Uh, I don't know anything about. I mean, we talked about uh, Vancouver. What we're aiming for in the draft. Uh, we, have two, we have two virtual interims remaining. So, I, so this virtual interims. How we discuss these PRs that are emerging. I guess if you have ideas for what you since priorities and caching and object delivery will all be completely settled before Vancouver, we'll need something new to argue about. So I like the bash stream mapping. Okay. Um, so I've got a little slideshow development on that. Fair. Anyway, you yeah. don't do it right now, but yeah, does mean through the weeklies. Yeah. We're there two scheduled, and one of them is not on a Wednesday. So actually, look at the the day oh, after. Uh, yeah. There's a Wednesday and there's a Monday. And the reason the one's on a Monday is that's the draft deadline. What's the authority? Sorry. And I'll actually miss that. I'll be on the I know, it's fine. Yeah. I know how to run the meeting. Is that one of the other space to look? Is this data, data tracker? Data, or, or data, data tracker. Uh, uh, well. Oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm, oh, 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 back. Oh, good. Oh. All right. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 and that's a problem for you, Will. OK, yeah. So, yeah. Will, you're going to T back? Yeah. You're muted. He's the co chair. All right, I guess he has to come. What about October 1, 2, 3? It's just a second. I mean, doesn't that mean you can just cancel the meeting? Go to Disneyland. I was about to say, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I would do that. <laughs> October 1, 2, 3 is clear. Unless we, unless we want, well, I mean, uh, unless you want to try Anaheim. Mm. Let's just stick with All right. Okay, October 1, 2, 3 is the new date. So please try to get that Wait, one. Okay. Is Will, go, are you Where going are you? in person to Anaheim, Will? The new fiscal year? Sorry, I'm currently scheduled to go, but I am trying to get out of it. Uh, in which case, oh, okay. it, it would only be a collision for the two hours of the W3C web transport meeting, and, and then I could be somewhere else. So, um, yeah, I, yeah I, it's uh, difficult at this moment, but uh, it, it, it might still be better to do it September 24, 26 in New York. Great. Okay, so, so what I'm hearing now is you'd ra rather than doing it that first week of October, you'd rather do it in September, the original date, even though it conflicts with the W3C thing. And you just do it remotely from New York City for two hours. Yeah, it's only two hours then. Okay, well, all right. Let's 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 move it back to September. Sorry for the flash. We're we're over time, so I guess we're not going to talk about the virtual. No, no, that's fine. I think we have what we need to talk about. Yeah, if you have other topics, so work you want to present, let us know. You respect the NPRs for, for I, I consumption on Wednesday? Yes. I okay. I, I, so I, mean, I may actually have to go to TPAC. Uh, All right. It, it's the, the issue with the new board being formed there. So, okay. Yes, I, I was thinking like you might actually need to go to TPAC. Yeah. I, 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 I will definitely have to confirm while I do this, but like October 1 to 3, I definitely, I, I would with glee cancel the thing that I have there. All right. Let's slide it back to October. <laughs> Uh, unless, unless, unless we want to go on and then want to pack and make it an Anaheim meeting, or LA meeting. No. Okay. Uh, all right. In that case, uh, enjoy the rest of this holiday. That's what I said. <laughs> October 1, two, one hour. My hell. Yeah. October 1 to 3 in New York City, right? That's the current proposal. That's the current, yeah. current proposal. Do not I, I don't remember. <laughs> but but get, get us a room. If you can. In New York City, then. Well, October 1 to 3, right? Yes. Do not. It's